up, y'all. How's everyone doing tonight? I'm just trying to gather some of my materials. Which the most important one is the Mighty Pencil. I actually found uh, some new pencils that I'm, I'm going to start to, to, to use and switch out these. Um, actually, I'm almost completely switched, but I'm going to incorporate this brand new pencil. Actually, when it comes in the mail, you guys will see it. I'll show it to you guys. But um, hello, hello. Uh, welcome. My name is Ryan Benjamin. Uh, welcome to Monday night, late night streaming. Uh, my co-host is Hannah. Hi, everybody. Talk to the hand. How's it going? And my lovely sharpener. Sharpener. Ooh. Brand new pencils are great. Oh, what the hell? What is that? I was saying, hey, Wildstorm. Come on, Sharpener. Oh, my Sharpener is like tripping on Did me. Did you now. guys deliver the baby yet? Wildstorm? How's, how's Mama? <laughs> no, his name is Baby Preston. Oh, congratulations. Hi, TJ. What's up, TJ? Yes, Ryan will be drawing the cover. Yes. I'm working on a cover today. For Steve Papa says, see Ryan and Anna. Hey, all. From back in the day, you guys. Check Hi, it out. Crispy. Vagabond. Is there a lot of, like, background noise? Yeah, if there's background noise, uh, just let me know. Yeah, we're still noobs when it comes to... <laughs> We've been doing this for a while, we're still noobs. So I know. <laughs> like we just started paying attention. <laughs> okay. <Too quick. laughs> so, for the sake of the stream, um, this is going to be a wraparound cover. And for the sake of uh, the limited video, quality that I have here. I need to update my, my whole um, my whole setup. But for the sake of this, um, I, I'm just using 11 by 17 flipped sideways. Uh, and it's going to function as uh, a double page spread, which is going to be wrap around cover. So this red line is going to represent the uh, the um, the spine, the spine. What I'm thinking seam and gutter. I'm like, no, it's not the seam, it's not the gutter, it's the spine. Okay, so it's gonna represent the spine. Um cool. the book. so um, um can I get through all these comments? Oh, uh, what was that? Oh. Can I get through all these comments? Oh yeah, go for it. S McCarty says good evening, Anna. Hi S McCarty. Glad you could join us. Spice Diesel says sup Brian and Hannah. Dude Cameron says, got to do an intro in the spirit of a 90s WWE promo. <laughs> um, TJ says, missed you both. So exciting. <clears throat> Wallstrom says, was a bit rough. My wife labored all night and wound up needing a C-section after all. But it's been two weeks and everyone is home and doing very well. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, man. I'm sure with COVID, things are really weird. Yep. <laughs> More strict um ethan is here so ethan he says hey everyone hi ethan um bray says lol hi bray what's up bray bray says oh bray tj says looking better than mine lol <laughs> um you're gonna have to help me out how do you say um the title is it okay 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 I, that's how I say it. I'm, I'm from the Caribbean, so I got a, I got a, a twang to my, to my words. <clears throat> Okema. Okema? Yeah. So, um, T, T, TJ should be on. Yes. 
Okay. Okay. Josh Smith says, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna butcher this. I'm so sorry, TJ. <laughs> okay, it was, he said, okay, it was nice. I met TJ at Comic Con a few years back. Really nice dude. Oh, Wing LYC is now following. Thank you for the follow. Um, TJ says, hey, Josh, great to have one here, man. Duke Cameron says, oh, this is a question. Um, Bio Dog says, we'll get to that question in a bit. Big Dog says, hello, Ryan and Hannah. I got a lot of art streams. TJ says, add some spice to it, Ryan. Yes, you, yes, you got it. Okay, <laughs> so <It's coming. laughs> go um, introduce what you're doing today. Um, so I am um, doing a, an alternate cover for uh, Taylor Sterling's uh, Kickstarter book called Okimus. Did I say it right? AKA TJ. AK. A A A A A Okimus. I don't know. <laughs> when, when, when I did Pancratia, uh, everyone used to call it Pancratia. Pancreas. I'm like, oh God, these people don't even know. They can't pronounce Pancratia. Yeah, and then you're doing the same thing to TJ. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, man. We love you, TJ. <laughs> mm. Forgive us. <laughs> Forgive me. We're like a bunch of old folks. I am. I'm, I'm literally trying old. to keep up with the young folks. <laughs> TJ's in his twenties, eh? I don't know. Young, Are you young, in your twenties or thirties, TJ? So, okay, for those of you guys who don't know, um, Okimus is an indie comic mm -hmm. that TJ created and draws and. All the works and what's really cool is that um, he's a black creator yes and it's his idea and it's fully owned yes. so he's been putting out new issues I feel like at Comic-Con almost every year San Diego Comic-Con and then now he has a Kickstarter yeah. <clears throat> so go check it out. Some pretty cool stuff. Okay. So I have the reference here. Oh, um, he's in his thirties. The character, the character references are here. Let me draw him. And. Um, these are really rough sketches, so basically I'm drawing four char four characters um, on this page. So it's it's going to be one, two. This is we're gonna do the same thing with the mask on, mask off. Um, three and four. Um, TJ, which one? Okay, which one is the, does he end in? Is he end in? This original sketch or this uh, uh, mut mutated one right here? Which one does it end in? Which one basically is going to end up on the front page? He, he should know. T is going to ask him. He's, he, he mentioned it in the email, but I, I just can't, can't I'll look at it again. Waldstrom says, Okamas Prime. I know that truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wildstorm. S. McCarty says, hey, Ryan, do you ever do store signings? TCU Rockets did a good job with Clayton Crane today. Oh, wow. Um, I, um, I do store, store signings. Uh, you know, well, since COVID, I haven't I'm done, pretty much done anything. I've been sitting in one place working. Um, I, I do have some good news, well, especially though. with COVID. <laughs> especially, well, yes, yeah, that's, that's why it's because of COVID. But. Yeah. Um, um, TJ said the mutated one is first. Front page is the Armored cause, Warrior. Yeah, because I remember you, you you laid it out in order. So um, so this is this is the mutated one or is this one here the, the one in color or the one in, in black and white line? Because um, this looks like it's further along the line than this is. But I like uh, how but you're I'm showing sure. everybody your photos. 
Actually, I only show them the important ones. <laughs> um, Wildstorm says, hit us with the good news. Biodog says, the key is still working. TJ says, human form, black and white, yeah, like monster form. Yeah, it is. Okay, so because it, it he, he mentioned it, it was in order, so, so okay. this was the last one. So this is the order it goes in. Okay. So, all right, done. Got it. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. And I have an idea of how it's going to end, too. I already know what I'm going to do. I just got to do it. Um, TJ, if you want to write anything, or if you guys want to ask some questions, yes. please feel free to. So, the creator is on here right now. So, if you guys want to ask any questions about the book, or the character or anything I just go ahead and ask TJ will answer you uh, through the message area yes. so. um, he said really quick it, was that supposed to what's really quick were you gonna add anything to that the human cult like monster mm-hmm So, um, the comments are committed. <laughs> keep in Don't mind worry. title. It was a okay. You said the human Hulk like monster, mm -hmm. monster 2.0, then armor warrior is on the front page. I got it. Got it. To the music, you just turn it off. Um, where's your right there? Hit the X. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oops. No, the X. X. No, hit, hit, hit the PS. Yeah, yeah. Oh. One more time, I hit X. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, Spice Weasel said, I feel like you should have numbered these. LOL. Uh, yes, the kids are sleeping, TJ. And yes, Jude Cameron, please post your. Or actually, I can go back. <clears throat> Jude Cameron had a question. He said, "When you do a hard book cover wrap around, do you approach the layout different or same line down the middle? Because hardbacks have extra side bits." Um, it doesn't doesn't really matter. Um, all, all I'm looking for is a general area. Uh, that spine is going to move left and right. I mean, it's going to expand. You know, um, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Plus, when I actually go in to do the um, the digital setup, I'm going to add extra room on the on the edges. Um, so it'll it'll give the 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 the, the book uh, the cover the extra room it needs uh, because when you actually go go to print. The covers need to be slightly bigger than the pages, um, so you have to figure out all these things here uh, when you're going in and uh, uh, obviously factor in at the spine. You don't want to put any, any super important information here, like eyeballs or teeth or something like that. Um, I'm going to try to keep that away from this area, um, and and most of the important stuff you just kind of want to keep it basically like in this region if you guys well it's probably it's probably super light if i can't see it i'm gonna keep it sort of sweet um and, and and trust me guys i noticed you know there's a lot of shadows um and stuff like that in here i'm i'm upgrading my entire setup um so it's gonna it's i'm i'm, I'm gonna fix all that so i'm gonna i'm i'm, I'm getting um you know uh 4k cameras and all kinds of stuff like that too so everything's going to be upgraded uh pretty soon cool. so, don't worry technology is uh i work in technology and i don't even have I, this is an old camera dude this camera is like 86 years old like, 
still works. And it still works, so I'm like, eh, whatever. But, uh, but I'm, I need to upgrade it. Bobstrom <laughs> says ETA 32 minutes until tea time. Ooh, okay. All right, we'll see. Start, start counting. 32 minutes. Yeah, till I ask you for tea. You want some tea? GJ says dropping gems. Dude Cameron says like the graphic designer will edit it and they add the text and etc. Are you listening? Yeah. They're asking if they're graphic. Oh, they're asking. Yes. Oh, I thought there was a comment. <laughs> what, 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 what were they asking again? Say well, the graphic designer edits it when they add the text and etc. Um. Well, I'm gonna set it up. I'll set it up. Um. And um. And then and then when it gets to the next stage, uh, it it, it everything will will be set in place. So all they have to do is pretty much. Uh, just do their their part, you know. Um, when they actually get to that stage, so. my phone keeps like shutting. Spice down. Weasel says, "Got a proper internet plan to support that bandwidth?" Ah, ha, you're funny. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, yeah, it's in it's in the works. Don't worry, it's coming. Ray says 4K. Twitch can't even stream in that. Camera gonna be good for the next two decades. I'm I'm more worried about the, the video quality uh, as it's recording because you know Twitch Twitch stores that recording. So uh, and I'm so I'm gonna capture that, that recording later and I'll use it for something else. So. <laughs> um, Wallstrom says that virtual San Diego Comic Con commission cash though. Uh, Bio Dog says 4K. That sounds amazing. Dude, Cameron says I remember when you had to pay for internet per the hour. Kids today have it easy. <laughs> we did have to pay for the per hour. Why is this music so loud? I don't know. It was right here. Did it fall? I say we get a Velcro and stick it. We the should. I, I lose this remote. Seriously, I'll use it and I'll put it down and I'll come back to it and it's gone. I'm like, where's this stupid remote? I just had it. <laughs> I think the remote has legs. Okay, so um. TJ says AOL. A oh wow, mark. AOL. I forgot. The I forgot they existed. -G 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 -G. I literally oh forgot AOL existed. Was there? Oh, Spice Weasel says, hey, speaking of SDCC commissions, I heard something about them getting mailed out this last week. Yeah, uh, yeah, we, we mailed it out in, in groups. So the first group went out uh, last week, and we have another group coming out went out this week. Yeah. We will get you the tracking info. Yeah. Spice. All that stuff is, is, is in there, so. Did you see your commission on um, Ryan's Instagram? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, BioDog says, I remember when dial-up internet, I remember when dial-up internet, that was just painful. Slice Weasel says, smashing, and he said, what? EMH Beat says, I remember hoarding AOL trial discs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember those. <laughs> those CDs. Like, oh, yeah, cool. It made, you felt like special, you know, when you had those things. It was like, oh, cool. Wildstorm says, dial up internet, the only true way to view the old Wildstorm website. You'll <laughs> scroll <laughs> 56K. Oh man. Dude Cameron says her her dial up internet goes goes burr, burr. Uh, How many of you guys remember floppy disks? Oh, I remember those. Those things. I remember when they first came out. I thought they were 
shiznit. I'm like, dude, these things are dope. What are these Weren't things? Were they like are... huge? They were about this big. No, but, but like, wasn't it even bigger? And then it got smaller. I think so. I think so. And it, and then, uh, but what did they hold? Like two two k? <laughs> I think it was something like a three five k or some one k maybe. It was some some kind of information like that. Like you can basically just hold ones and zero, ones and zeros on there. Yeah. All you can hold on there. Um, Dave Skellington says, did you like the colors I did for your Spidey MJ commission? Uh, yeah. Can you send that? I might have missed didn't, it. Didn't we see it? That's what it's oh, like. I don't remember. I don't remember. Maybe, Maybe I did. Maybe you it. did, but I didn't. Why don't you send that to a uh, DM again? Wildstorm says requires Netscape 3.0 or higher. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! 084 <laughs> Manolo says hello. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Spice Weasel says, "What size? What size floppy?" Bio Dog says, "Yes." TJ says, "Zip drives." Whoa. Oh yeah, Two zip drives. says the big size. A to the J says five point two five. Spice says, "Zip drives are such trash." Zip yeah. Wildstorm says, "You know we're talking '90s when the word shiznit comes out." Shiznit. <laughs> <laughs> Crispy says floppy started off as a size of vinyl. Oh, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Dude Cameron says, hold on, I need to get my draw of floppy disks to install one thing. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> oh, and heaven help you if you didn't number those floppy disks. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's <was> crazy. <laughs> Thief says, oh, never mind, check a DM and you guys saw it. Haha. <laughs> okay. Maybe you saw it. <laughs> Maybe. I think I did see it. Okay. How was it? It was good. <clears throat> um, Spice says, or one disc is corrupted. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the smaller ones, like the one like the size of your palm. <laughs> palm of your hand. And I liked all the colors mm -hmm. that it came in, uh -huh. like the rainbow colors. Okay. And you get to pick and choose. Dude, Cameron says, "Praise the great savior of CDs." <laughs> I know. CDs came out. You're like, oh yeah. <clears throat> like 750 <clears throat> megabytes. I know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I can put a movie on there. Yeah, I know, dude. I still have a bunch of those C CDs just sitting here. I'm trying to get rid of them. Then I'm like, I was looking, I was going through, and I'm like, "Is there stuff in here I want?" And I was actually taking stuff and I'm putting all it, a lot of stuff on a cloud just so I can have it there. Because uh, I'm like, I don't need these discs anymore. Nobody uses it. Ten years ago, you didn't need those discs. But, you know, I still have a bunch of them just kind of sitting there, so I'm trying to get rid of them. Bray says, "Oh boy, you guys are old." Of course. Bray was like in diapers when when zip zip drives came out. He, he's a young buck. Yeah. Dude, Dude Cameron says that we got two terabyte USB the size of a fingernail. <laughs> True. And then you're trying to look for it and you can't find it. Yeah. S. McCarty says, insert directly into trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I missed a comment from S. McCarty earlier. Did you? Yeah. We were talking about you upgrading. He yeah. said, that's awesome. He's yeah. like, was, this, was that news to Hannah? <laughs> and I was like, oh. Well, cool. one of the things I'm definitely upgrading is this effect okay so oh we actually got to kind of fix a little bit but uh i'm trying to get rid of this the shaky effect when i erase um, um because the camera's attached to the, the table so but i'm trying to separate that so 
Don't give away our secrets. <laughs> you can Google this as part of the process. No, I mean like all the things that we're gonna fix. Oh. So I got some uh, pretty cool news. Um, Hold on, let me go through these before we get into it. Okay. Well, Sorry. I, okay. Anyway, Dude says, "Does anyone remember the pinball game on Windows or when Windows had games?" What's that one mind minesweeper or? Oh yeah. And I remember people used to play solitaire. Yep. And I never understood to that game. I was like, you just move a whole bunch of cards around. Yep. <laughs> um, crispy Papa says, did we miss laser discs? Let, uh, well, yes, we, we never mentioned it. <laughs> I feel like we mentioned it in another. Yeah. Stream. Probably. Yeah. I didn't even know laser discs existed until Ryan told me about it. Wildstorm says worst part of the 90s, setting up those damn sound blaster cards for every single game. S. McCarty says I try to sell CDs to book off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Book off. Spice Weasel says, oh no, laser disc. Biodog says if you want to feel young, just think about the trash of Zoom and Apple War. Two says Windows still has Minesweeper and Solitary Game. Biodog says Pinball was just an amazing game. Dude Cameron says a great Halo version that came that came out. And um, your news. The who? Your news. Oh, I oh my news. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> Well, it's gonna have to be vague news because I can't give I can't <laughs> give out the detail. Vague news. It's pretty vague news. Yeah. So, um, I just got an email today from uh, DC. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be on a, this uh, this pretty hot book. I can't say what it is, and it's a pretty hot writer, and I can't say who it is. But uh, I, I'll tell I'll tell you guys eventually. So. Yeah, when the news comes see. out. When, 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 uh, maybe when I'm working on it, I'll tell you guys. Okay. Give you guys some sneak peeks or something. <sighs> Mimi Love Bug asks, can I ask why you draw in red pencil instead of regular pencil? Um, no, well, this is only for the layout. The, the red pencil is only for the layout. So right now I'm, I'm thinking, I'm trying to just lay out the, the, uh, Loud. The poses and just trying to just trying to get things right before um before actually going with a pencil. So it needs to, it needs to feel. I just want to want to get a sense of how things are going to flow. So I'm probably going to redraw a lot of this stuff multiple times as I'm going. Um, and this is just to get a, a sense of where the character is going to sit on space on this flat two D space. Uh, Spice Weasel says bait and switch. Wildstorm says milestone book. Wildstorm book. Yeah. Oh, oh no, not milestone. No. I, I already did a milestone book. So, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, Tooth, I did my part. Tooth says, Ryan, were you excited with the fandom announcements this weekend? Man, yeah. I was. I was like, I was pretty much impressed with a couple of things that I saw. So, I know they, they released the, um, uh, is it Go Gotham Knights, is it called? So, that was pretty hot. Um, I saw that. And, um, you know, a couple other things. Of this, so, the Shazam, uh, uh, not Shazam, uh, Black Adam trailer. Oh, yeah. Was it what, it like a comic? Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Well, it's it. They, 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 I'm assuming because of COVID, they don't have any like hard footage ready to go. Um, but they're so so they had to figure out another strategy. Like, hey, we need something to show. So let's just draw the the, pay, the, the draw the panels, and then we'll have someone animate them or something. And, you know, it's probably something I got to happen. I know because I, I, I've worked on multiple teams that, that, that do stuff like that. Uh, and I hear those conversations all the time. I know the process. So when I see it, I'm like, oh, okay. I, you can instantly see why or how they did certain things. So, um, 
They did it because of COVID. It, it, it could be. I think. Just I, I honestly think it's because they don't have footage ready to, to put to, to splice together. I remember looking at what the, the Hulk movie, with the one that came out a couple of years ago. Uh, the first one that came out like maybe 10 years ago, something like that. I remember look, the looking. The one with Edward Norton? Yeah, one with Ed Norton. They, I saw the, the rough cut version of it where things weren't even finished. They just had just uh, the Hulk in 3D still moving with no textures and nothing. I'm like, okay, I was looking at all, all that stuff. Um, um, you know, they, 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 there's some shots were in green screen, some shots <laughs> you, know, you could just see, like, oh, wow, they, there's no explosions, but they're acting like there's an explosion, you know? Uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Cool. Um, so going on your announcement, S. McCarty said, ooh, awesome, man, congrats. TJ says, messaging you an updated image, bro. Okay, cool. Eve Skellington says, picked up that Nightwing book you did some pages for recently, and they were awesome. Oh, thanks. Didn't you do all of it? I did, uh, uh... I did, no, I think I, I did two of them, just two Nightwings. It was Nightwing 73. No, but I mean for that particular book, you did all the... Yeah, I did all the interiors, but I did, I think I only did 73 and 74. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Jude Cameron says, there's something also relaxing and freeing working in colored pencil. S. McCarty says, you deserve it. Hope you're excited about it. TJ says, that's going to be epic. Yeah. Poof says four hours Snyder cut. Four hours. Yep, the Snyder My cut. My body is ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> right, ready. Mimi Lovebug says I get trying to figure out position. I was just curious why red specifically instead of regular pencil. Is um. It easier to erase. Yes, I don't want to erase when it actually comes down to to uh, just nailing, just knocking out the pencils. I, I don't want to do a rough and then erase, rough, erase, rough, erase, clean, clean it up. You know, I just want to, I want to do all the roughs now, just get it out of the way. And then when it comes to the pencils, it's just instantly go. You know, uh, it's, a, it's a process I use. I, 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 I use this here for all my comics. Pretty much anything I draw, this is the process I use. Um, it's a lot quicker and cleaner for me because the slowest part is the thinking part getting nail nailing down the layouts you know what what's going to happen and then once you figure out what's going to happen that's when you're you're like okay now it's time to just knock it out for sure. uh tj says emailed you a numbered ref much easier compiled into one image Dude Cameron says, you see Batman trailer? I don't think that's Bruce Wayne. I think that's Grayson because I don't think they ever called him Bruce in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you were freaking out over Batman. Dude, when Batman tore into I, was, I had to watch that scene over and over and over and over and over and every time I'm like, ah! Batman just pop, 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 boom, boom. I'm like, Jesus Christ. He was, yeah, he was ripping it. Uh, Wildstorm that. says, if it's not Milestone or Wildstorm, I have no guesses. Uh, yeah, you won't. Uh, sorry, don't do it. Maybe I should give him the initials of the title. I totally I forgot that we're streaming on YouTube. <laughs> oh, we're streaming on YouTube. Yeah, because yeah. I guess they're co he, they had comments. Yeah, YouTube has comments also. Yeah, but let's see if I can find them. The only one I see is finally, Hassan says, finally caught it live. Huge fan of your work with Richard Fine. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Seriously, appreciate it. Thank you. Crispy Papa says, the image of the rock floating with Black Adam 
costume was done by Boss Logic. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Slipstream says, Hey Ryan, it's Chris Diaz. Hope things are well. Chris V. Slipstream. Oh, Slipstream. It's Chris Diaz. Oh, Chris yeah. What's up? We need to talk. <laughs> We definitely need to talk. I feel oh, like man. you told him that last I time. keep saying that. Yeah, I said I did say to the last time. We never did talk. So we definitely need to talk like ASAP. Yeah. You know? Um, to be so. fair, Ryan has some injuries. Yeah, I'm, I've, I've been slammed lately. I'm just a lot of stuff. And I was looking at what I have to do today. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I need to get this out of the way because I got this major project coming up for DC. So I, need, I, I have to finish all this stuff. Um, TJ would like for you to read your text. Okay. Read your text, man. Read your text. Is it a phone? He said text? rough stuff, pick up his sketchbook. Yeah. Uh D Roger says dropping in for a quick hello and good night, setting to lurk mode and looking forward to the replay. Thanks, D Roger. Alright, no problem. Dude Kevin says, Yo, Ryan, when you said I am vengeance, I got chilled. <laughs> yep. Bray says good Batman is brutal. Because is brutal he needs to be intimidating oh, yep. well. Mimi says I see thank you for explaining that I should try red pencil sometime don't do it said I was skeptical of that guy when they casted him for Batman but that scene gave me hope for the new Batman <laughs> I know yeah. I know I forget who I was who? On, on no on um, the chat but we were talking about I think it was when we first found out that he was casted and we were talking about it in one of the streams. We were like, eh. <laughs> He's such a pretty boy. Like, yeah. I don't know. And then someone said in a later stream that he refused to work out <laughs> or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And so it's just like, remember. Uh, TJ says the trailer for Batman was incredible. Is this one? one? Maybe? Yes. This is some. Sterling Sanders is now following. Thanks, Sterling. Uh, did you send it through my phone text or was it an email? Because I don't see anything coming in. Crispy Papa says Boss Logic is an off the artist. Nice. TJ says it's going to be intense. Okay. Crispy Papa you know. says his work on Insta is pretty awesome. I was watching um, Tyrone Magnus, uh, his review of nice. uh, uh, Ed, his review was, he was like, oh, I love his expressions, man. Yeah. That guy is really cool. TJ says get ready for a wave of commission. He said, phone, text, and email, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Dude. Yeah, I'm... My phone, I, I, I just am opening the email right now through my phone. So it's just taking that sweet, sweet time. I'm, I'm going to keep working oh, on the layout. JTOA Joshua Tree of Arts is now following. Thank you for the follow. Wallstrom says Legion confirmed. Ha ha ha. Sterling Sanders says no problem. I just started reading Brothers Bond. Your work is amazing. Oh, thank you, thank you. Jude Cameron says best comment I saw on the Black Adam was him asking Billy what his name was, and then Billy going, "My name is. It don't matter what your name is." <laughs> is Black Adam a villain? Um, ask them. Let them answer. Let them try answer. Oh, TJ says yes, he is supposed to be. Cool. Thank you. Learn something new every day. J T O A Joshua Tree. Or can I just say Joshua Tree words? <laughs> So it's glad to be here. Really like the artwork and like to see people's process. 
Okay, so um, I'm going to try to keep things in camera as I'm drawing. So this would be the center area here. So I swear, man, in like a couple weeks, I'm going to have nothing but black marks all over my table because I'm using... I mean, I'm sure you can use rubbing alcohol to... Yeah, well, it's Sharpie and it's on glass, so I can easily just like squeegee this stuff out. It's it's not it's not that it's not that hard. This this stuff you can use to take all of this off. Um, uh, for those of you just joining, um, Ryan is doing a variant cover for an indie comic called wow. Alchemist by T.J. Sterling. It's taking a long time to open. Oh, the email. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> so funny. And it is a career a black career owned comic and he releases an issue every single year at Comic Con or just every single year in general. So go check out his stuff. It's really cool. He has a Kickstarter that he's writing. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Well, this is, this, this changes things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you sent that email, man, because I was like, get ready to just attack this. All right. So this absolutely changes things. Okay. All right. I'm, all right. It's, or it's not, it's not too much of a change. So. Tooth says Hannah clearly doesn't remember the Black Adam art I sent two months ago. I met, I sent months ago. <laughs> you know, to be honest, my days and months kind of all blurred together. And especially with COVID, there's no distinctive, like, event that separates things out. <laughs> like, it's like Groundhog Day for me. <laughs> same thing, same shit. So it's five. The Great Ace says, hey Ryan, did you ink that Wolverine piece? Which one? I... The Samurai. Oh, I'll, I'll show you guys in a minute. The video? Or... Yeah, I'll show you guys the video. Hold on, hold on, let me look at the record. Oh. Dude Cameron says your table is going to look, going to look. Okay. Like a beautiful mind window, but for artists. So it's close. It's close. DJ just says, just got back on. Glad you got it. Sorry, bro. I owe you both. I owe, I owe you both dinner. Okay. So Ryan was telling me that you had a dinner or dinner <laughs> you had a dream that i was cooking dinner <laughs> that's funny why why do everybody like have like assumed <laughs> that i cook wallstrom says there's only monday and every other day of the week is a blur <laughs> Okay, so guys, in the, give me, I would say give me like maybe eight more minutes and then I, I'll, I'm going to start penciling in about eight more minutes. <laughs> the Great Ace says, thanks Ryan. Jude Cameron says 2020 was meant to be the year of foresight jokes, but mm. guess we never saw this pandemic <clears throat> coming. Get it? <laughs> I saw someone with a t-shirt that says, you know, F-U-C-K 2020. <laughs> so, I, mean. like, I was like, I'm there with you, man. <laughs> this year is just kind of like, what the hell? Yeah. What the hell, man? Um, I saw on Instagram, so they have this thing called Reels. So R-E-E-L-S. It's essentially function it essentially functions like TikTok and 
this guy put together like a short like video where people are celebrating New Year's Eve 2021 and then on the TV as it's counting down it says welcome to 2021 version 2.0 <laughs> Uh, <laughs> basically of 2020 and then like the friends that he was with like all disappeared and it was like really ominous TJ says Ryan was at the grill you were bringing the platters out I'm okay. at least I wasn't cooking Falstrom <laughs> <laughs> says that lines up with tea time do you want some tea? Tea. Um, I'm really Nothing hot right now. Oh, uh, did we just get a, a new uh, follower? Yeah. Who was that? Dragzilla Down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I feel like maybe I should put it up higher. Should we, we should probably get a graphic that every time someone falls, it pops up. There is up. a graphic. Oh, there is a pop up. Yeah. Oh. Is, is it, does it automatically happen? Or, yeah. Or is it uh, something we had to set up? Oh, no, that's something that um, was set up. Oh, for a break. Um, well, I did that. Oh, you did? Oh, my bad. Um, Thanks. I think you might have told me about it, though. Joe, Joe Di, Di, Di Napoli says, why don't you stream in 1080p? Don't worry, it's coming. <laughs> oh, oh, it's coming. Ugh. Dude Cameron says, oh, I just realized that it's Superman's symbol on Batman's forehead. Uh -huh. Yes, it is. And there's Superman at the top. Don't do it, <clears throat> says. Did you see that new Batman game, though? Gotham Knights with all the Robin? Yes, I did. I'm definitely getting that one. I was like, yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. I haven't, I honestly haven't followed what happened <laughs> oh, that's, um, for DC Phantom. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I looked at was the Black Adam thing and... Wonder Woman? The, I saw the Wonder Woman? No, the Batman. Batman? Yeah. Um, uh, what else did I see? I, I, I didn't see everything because I, 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 you know, it's just too busy. I, I don't have a lot of time to sit and watch videos. Um, TJ says, hey everyone, Okemist is a sci-fi martial art action story about a young guy with a latent superhuman ability that could potentially save the human race, and this young man is being pursued by four mechanized warriors from the future. Tons of action and suspense. Thanks for the for this quick synopsis, TJ. For those of you wondering what the story is about. Don't do it says reminded of that cover you did with all the different Robins. Cover with different robins. Um, yeah. Really? When? Um. Was that for Chris? Or was it like an actual cover or book? I don't remember. <clears throat> All right. So. Two says, "Let me play as Hulk King Shark." <laughs> <laughs> Wildstorm says eight hours of DC fandom content, and I heard words Wildstorm only twice in passing. 
outrage. How dare they? <laughs> so I'm gonna give you guys um, a quick, sh quick preview of this video. Um, time lapse that I did. Um, if you guys can see that, this is me inking the samurai. Wolverine Samurai. Still, still have a, a lot more to go. So, <clears throat> just a snip, a snapshot. Okay, here we go. Chris Crew says Fandom was a fantastic event. The only downer the exclusive Supergirl Lego giveaway was for US fans only. Aww. Bummer. Don't do it, says Captain Boomerang. Looked really cool going super fast. There's oh, no really yeah. Cool. No, I, I did. I remember drawing him before, and I was just like, kind of like, okay, he's okay. But in the movies, like, holy crap. I want to draw this guy again, <laughs> you know. Uh, Suicide Squad. Oh. And Harley was like, I feel like this is like probably the best Harley they've they've ever done. You know. Wallstrom's like, hey, I didn't say outrage. <laughs> you didn't like my extra commentary, Wallstorm. <laughs> Joshua Tree of Art says, looks good. What does Joshua Tree of Art mean? Ryan and I were actually thinking about going to Joshua Tree later this year. Sometime. I don't know. Oh, John Joy said, it's, said it was a sketch cover. Mr. Josh says, oh. Hold on, let me backtrack. Oh, yeah, I remember. cover was for the yeah, yeah. Batman was naked. Yeah, I remember. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Josh says, Ryan, what's his name? Ryan Funchess wants to voice King Shark in animated show real bad. Yeah. Dude Cameron says, nice. Do you prefer pen over brushing thing? Um, it depends. I, I, I use both. You know, I use brush pens. I use a, ver a variety of uh, uh, equipment. Uh, some of them, you know, well, most of them are, are from, from Japan. So I use a range of tools. Um, but I really like this pen. This pen here is amazing. Um, and the cool thing about it is because it, ha it has, you know, two, two tips. Um, this one has like more of a brush side and it's more of a pen side over here. Um, but the ink quality is outstanding in this pen. This is what I really, really, really like. So if you guys ever get a chance go and you order it, you can order it. I get them through Amazon all the time. Here's an, an, an unopened pack right here. So um, yeah, if you guys want to get some of this, ink, this brush pen, if you guys can read Japanese or take a snapshot of this or something, just go ahead and just go get it. I was going to say, you should just probably have Yoshi send, send you a bunch. You, uh, yeah, yeah. I, actually, I'll probably get it cheaper if, if Yoshi just sends me a bunch Maybe. of them. You know? uh, Tooth says Ron Funches is the voice of King Shark in the animated show. Samoa Joe is King Shark in the game. And Mr. Josh says that makes me. Just John says, hey, Hi, Jess John. Wallstrom says I'm not finding the link for that pen again. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Wallstorm. It was very much appreciated the first time. <laughs> Dude Cameron says I want to go to one of those Japanese stationery art shops because it looks like heaven. Yeah. Tokyo hands. That's what you want to do. I feel like it's like the OCD's dream. Tokyo Hands is the shiznit. Did I just say the 90s yeah. stuff we were like talking about? Oh gosh. 
It's the shiznit. I wish my home was organized like Tokyo. I, I could go to Tokyo every day just just to go. I like I don't even have to buy anything. I just want to go. Just go walk around. I mean, there's some pretty cool and useful stuff. <clears throat> Shiju says, I love those shops. He says, there it is again. Shiznit. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, thanks, Wildstorm. Thanks for finding it. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it. So that way, when Ryan talks about it, I have it saved. Yep. So you don't have to do it anymore. <laughs> The last time I ordered some from uh, Amazon, I think I ordered about thirty of them, and you know, so I I have like a like a like a backlog of them just sitting here. I'm sorry, what do you have in the backlog? Those 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 are pens. Oh. Ink pens. That's how much I love them. Huh. Wallstrom says, you're welcome, in capital letters. <laughs> <laughs> Duke Cameron says, keep bringing up the 90s. We have to talk about cargo jeans and frosted tips up in there, up in here. So. Oh, man. Dude. <laughs> cargo jeans. Um, what else did they have? Uh, those those denim, denim jackets was like in, back in the days. I know I biker know. shorts were the thing. Biker shorts. <laughs> I thought, isn't, uh, oh yes, right, that's right, biker shorts was a big time. People always used to get them. You didn't see anybody wearing those. Wallstrom says I saved it for next week. <laughs> Hi, Poop Kid. Poop Kid. Sup? Long time no see. <laughs> Sterling Sanders says visiting Tokyo hands is like walking meditation. Yep. Very much so. Yep. Uh, don't do it says VZA YouTube channel is how I found out about you and Todd Knock and Jim Lee, of course. Cool. Yeah, yeah. VZA is uh, that's a cool dude. Yeah. Him and his wife. Yep. Super nice. Uh, there's some. I I can't tell him about this one, right? I can't tell. What? Um, the the meeting I I just had recently on Friday uh, Friday. Remember? With, with three other guys. No, the one other guy and the YouTube channel that, oh, that yeah, I'm, I'm going to be we on. Yeah, because we don't know what's happening. No, it's happening. <laughs> no, I know. Well, I know, but I mean, like, we haven't started. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to be filming uh, a series of uh, art instructional type things on YouTube, and uh, it's with a pretty high profile um, YouTube channel so you guys will get this chance to see that soon well not soon it's, yeah, honestly because I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing a series of them um, yeah, with COVID and yeah with parts. COVID and everything it's probably gonna take about a year for, before you guys even have a chance to see it I like how you tease them a year before because <laughs> well, the truth that's how the industry works you work you, hey you, guys, I'm working on work. this, but you won't see it in here. That's how it works. Tough luck. <laughs> you work on something and nobody sees it for a year, sometimes two years, yeah, sometimes two and a half years, three years. You won't see it, but they'll announce it. They'll announce it on some website or something. Well, Storm said, let me get out my hyper color t shirt. Isn't, well, I know tie dye is coming. Tie dye, back. oh yeah. I know tie dye was a big thing, but then tie dye is coming back now. Like yeah. for women's clothing? High top fades came back a couple years ago. And, yeah. uh, you know, you know you're that. old when the style that you wore as a kid comes back. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, Spice I'm... Weasel says J N C O G. How do you say that? Just J N C O G. Wallstrom says, and my Panama Jack gear. Call three says starter jacket. Wallstrom says Ryan out here with secrets. <laughs> Dude Cameron says cargo jeans chains connected to Velcro wallets. I remember that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Skater shoes, Walkmans, and headphones yeah. that look like two pieces of foam connected to metal strings. Yeah. And and the 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 Zune. Yeah. Everybody loved the Zune, right? When it came out. Sterling oh, says. Have a Zune. Do you always start in physical medium as your base? Do you scan your work for digital mediums and coloring? Um, I, I have a range of, of uh, work strategies. Uh, it all depends on multiple things. How I'm feeling for the day, uh, but that's kind of like on the tail end. Time. Uh, time is one like how much time do you have if, you know if, because if I have a lot of time or if I don't have a lot of time then I'll have to adjust my approach um, um, it, the the end point also also helps meaning you know because if I if I actually draw it on paper or I, I go 100% digital you know the, the client or me uh, we, we, we would have to, to um, understand that there at some point there won't be a physical copies because we're, we're doing 100 percent digital or maybe i absolutely need a physical copy for a specific reason so i have to start i have to do everything on on, on board then i'll i'll do that so it, it just it really depends on the, the, the job you know the, the workload stuff like that like i'm doing some stuff right now with marvel and um, I'm not even, I, I started off um, doing, doing everything on paper and then it just got to the point where I need to, to turn this around faster. So I just went hundred percent digital. Like, uh, like paper is just like, you know, taking too much time for me. So. Just John says, you remember those shoes that had the wheels in them? Oh, are they still around? Those Spice are just... also rollerblades, LOL. Yeah. Is that Heelys? Yeah, those, I think those yeah. are still around. Yeah, Spice Weasel says I still see kids with those shoes. Yeah. TJ says yes, I had a high top fade. Hello? Yep. Paul 3 says, think you were still able to get them in men's size 12 a few years back. <laughs> TJ says Gen Genko jeans. And then Wildstorm says Purr was the best 90s gear, like I'll be honest. Sterling says, Hyper Color was amazing, slap bracelets. Oh, I remember those. Hogs. Don't do it since I hate COVID. Why do you make me wait? <laughs> <laughs> I think we all hate COVID. I'm, I'm so sick of this, this, this disease, man. Disease? Virus. Just, well, virus, whatever. It's causing so much disruption. I'm just kind of sick of it. Well, hopefully people will be more grateful when things open back up. Finally, yeah. Nip it. TJ says, "Google it, Google it, Hannah, for a laugh." Janko, I, I, I know what you're talking about. It's those jeans that look like curtains. <laughs> <laughs> Spicy little says, "Yeah, people remember seeing those jeans, but not the name of it." I used to wear corduroys back in the day. Corduroys was, was the <laughs> shit. Really? Like it was like you had to have. You were a cool dude. You had to have. Corduroys, you know, but Corduroy. every, every time you're walking, all you hear is like a cool dude. all you hear is rip, 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 rip. <laughs> every time you walk, you take a step. That's rip, funny. Rip, 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 rip. <laughs> you got somebody corduroys coming around the corner. Like, There's a cool guy coming. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Uh, announce, announcing himself before he goes <laughs> there. <laughs> oh, fuck. Spice Eagle says. Shit draggers is the most common memory. <laughs> That's the gene. Right. Um, Wallstrom says that's because we were all too busy watching Animaniacs. Spice Weasel says great cartoon. Oh, yeah. Animaniacs. I remember re watching it not too long ago 
I was like, wow, this is so politically incorrect. <laughs> but they did have like some cool moments in the show. I remember loving that show as a kid. Yeah, Animaniacs. My brother would love that stuff. And that's the hell. <laughs> What does it say? What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> what does that say? Where, where is the, where am I supposed to see this thing? Oh, they subscribed. Oh, okay. Thanks, so Tanner. So, well, that, that's a new sound. Was that like a specific achievement or something? <laughs> like the, I like how it scared you. <laughs> it's like, is that the 500th sub subscription or no, something? No, it's like, just whenever someone subscribes, it's supposed to play that noise. It does? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I remember what, when I was um, putting the settings, mm -hmm. like each thing meant some, like each sound meant something different. Mm -hmm. So like if you subscribe, there's a sound. If you follow, it's a different alert sound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like how it scared you. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that sound before. That's why I'm like, tripping on that one. Thanks for the sub, Sterling. <laughs> you got to scare Ryan in the process. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't, don't scare me, man. So, yes, go check out OKMS Kickstarter. Yeah, guys, definitely go check it out. So, yeah, TJ put down. TJ. Okay. Oh, I was saying TJ put the link if you guys want to check it out. Yeah, go Especially check it for out. For those of you who are just coming in. Okay. Um, the Great Ace says, wow, so Ryan is doing a YouTube art tutorial series? Yeah, buddy. Planning on it. Mm -hmm. Chris Cute Papa says, remember the Rebox where you can pump the tongue for a better fit? <laughs> That's that's, that's like a gimmick, man. That thing away. That, that doesn't really work, does it? Like, like does it help you float in the water or something? Like, I don't know, but people use, use use it on the court all the time. Like, hold on, I gotta pump up. <laughs> so, so I can jump better. Be like Mike. <laughs> I think I vaguely remember this. Oh, TJ man. says I wanna get back to con so bad. I know, me too. Wicked Wraith says the days when Nautico was new lol. Awesome says Bo knows 90s. Oh yeah. Ray says laughing my face, laughing my effing ass off. <laughs> <Not face. laughs> yes. Lawson says ha 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 you said it's a sub lol. Ray says so cool. Sterling says, LOL, it's a prime sub alert. He said, you're awesome, you did deliver it, my dude. He said, well, sorry to disturb your work. <laughs> Crispy says, Ryan, that fear reaction was real. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it says, that was funny. Yeah. TJ says, I still have to take your comic book boot camp class. Yeah, it's man. looking incredible, Ryan. Well, oh, should we tell them what's happening? Yeah, so we have a we have a, a, a new set of classes coming up. We're getting ready to announce them this this week, I think. Yeah. Them. So Most likely want, want next, a preview? early next week. You want to give them a preview of it, or you want to just so wait? the series of the classes is called Heroes versus Villains. It's a going theme. Yes, <clears throat> and that's that's. That's all you, you're willing to give them? <laughs> heroes versus villains? Yeah, heroes versus villains. Okay. We gotta hype it, we gotta hype it up. So, yeah, so we, we were going over uh, the past classes. We we're looking at the range of students we were having. We were looking at our strategies that we were implementing. Uh, we were looking at um, um, the format. We we're looking at the, the quality level of artists that's coming in and the, and this, the the information the, the feedback that they gave us and uh, where a lot of their weak points were so we so we kind of looked at a, a mul multiple amount of factors and we decided okay let's 
rearrange and just pinpoint specific things to help people on certain things that we think we, they, they actually need. So, so we did that and then we just wrapped it around a, a really cool uh, topic, which is heroes versus villains. And you guys will see, we're going to lay it out for you guys uh, soon. Um, you guys will see it. And when it's time for you guys to join, just go ahead and join. <clears throat> Take some classes. TJ says, look at your incredible, Ryan. I said, whoa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, please. Mr. Josh says, can't wait. Beef says, while watching stream, I added color to Ryan's Punisher commission. Here's the link to it. Hope you guys like it. Will it take me to the top? Here's what Beef Skellington did. Yeah. I like, I like. Wallstrom says, Happy Gilmore versus Shooter McGavin. Heroes versus <laughs> Villains assignment. Mm -hmm. TJ says, Love the painterly style. Tired already. I know I'm sleep is like starting to become my favorite friend now. Um, wow, I have never heard you say that. <laughs> well, because I noticed lately that because I have a pattern of when I sleep, um, I just sleep for a little bit, and I'm I'm up and I'm back and I'm I'm ready to work. You should sleep for like an hour during the day. And for the past couple of weeks, I noticed that I'll sleep and I'm thinking, okay, I'll just get like three hours of sleep. And three hours of sleep, I wake up, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go back to sleep. Screw this. <laughs> and then, you know, I get a solid six hours. I'm like, okay, I guess I just got six hours. <clears throat> Some people can't function, you know, they have to have eight hours, uh, you know that range i'm like that's just that's a long time if i if i ever sleep for eight hours i wake up with a headache like, oh, man, i can't i just can't do it but, yeah beef says got the approval now approval now i can go to bed peacefully huh, huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you should have just been like hmm. <laughs> No, no, go back to the just pattern. kidding, just kidding. You wouldn't do that. Let's get um. TJ says, alive. "How are you feeling about Batfleck still being in the DC cinematic universe?" About who? Batfleck? Yeah, Ben Affleck. Oh, I was wondering, like, is that what he's about, Ben Affleck? Yeah, Batfleck. Um. <laughs> well, how do I feel about that? Yeah. I don't know. Either. We know how I hated him or anything. We know how how Bray feels about it. <laughs> Bray, are you are you lurking in the background? <laughs> Don't do it says is it a Udemy class or YouTube or Twitch or Zoom? No, it's not Udemy. It's YouTube. It's well, YouTube. It, could it be? It's gonna be on YouTube. Okay. Wallstrom says John Spartan versus Simon Phoenix, heroes versus villain assignment. I think we need to get Wallstorm as part of the the planning committee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, Wallstorm. TJ says, bro, you run on batteries. How, how are you holding up? TJ. Yeah, TJ. You're three hours ahead of us. So. Yeah, I know. You So it's like one o'clock for you right now. Yeah. You go to sleep, you know that. You can watch the recording later. Yeah. Go, go Although we have Wildstorm, who always joins on Monday, and he's up till like pretty much the end. Yeah. Which is amazing. 
Spice Weasel says get a better pillow. I know. Great Aces, I really don't like their choice for the new Batman, to be honest. TJ says yes, I'm a zombie right now. He says, well, nah, I wouldn't miss a chance to hang out. <laughs> I, I do have to say, like, I used to be able to just pull all-nighters or, like, be, be able to go to sleep at 4 a.m., no, no problem. Yeah. And now, like, my body can't, can't keep up. <laughs> it's like 4 a.m.? <laughs> I know. What are you doing? What do you think you're going to do at 4 a.m.? Wallstrom says, I plan my day around this Monday night stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. I appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> and, and you have a two-week-old baby. <laughs> I know. I know. Like, priorities here. <laughs> <laughs> Dedication. I know. The Great Eights says it's 1 a.m. for me, too. I just love this art style so much. Well, thanks for hanging out, Great Eights. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. And two said, I'm speaking of that. Sally, it is my bedtime. He said, so as always, thank you for the stream, Ryan and Hannah. Bye, too. See ya. Bye. <laughs> <What was> <laughs> I don't know. Right? Bye. I, just, I, heard, I heard that somewhere. Some, it was from a girl. She's like, bye. Like in person or like. Well, somewhere. I don't remember where I heard it. Like, in, like a movie or something. It was weird. Was like, bye. It's like a valley girl. Like, I'm going to use that one day. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> You're gonna be like, what the hell? I like entertaining you guys. Uh, you guys keep me, uh, keep my comedy juices going. I like just uh, cracking jokes and you know, hanging out and drawing and stuff. So. <laughs> this is fun. Wildstorm says I get grumpy if I miss a stream. <laughs> the great Ace says trying to learn the methods. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, yeah. So, you see, uh, this is exactly why I lay everything out in red. See how I'm just going straight in and I'm drawing. I'm not even concerned about doing the contours. I'm literally just going straight in uh, because pretty much the contours are there. It's a, it's a rough contour, so, and I already understand anatomy and I know what, what I'm going to do, so I just do it. I don't have to lay it down in stages. I feel like I'm doing... All the beginning stages in one bucket and then all the final stages in another bucket so i'm just hitting it with a one two and that's it it's one two one two one two the entire process um and it helps with speed <laughs> and now well storm said i missed the last two weeks because of the baby i told him straight up i wasn't gonna miss a third week and he just <laughs> stared at me <laughs> Your kid will forgive you. Don't worry. Your kid will forgive, forgive you. <laughs> it's okay, Daddy. <laughs> Do you have the night shift then? <laughs> yeah, the wife part. That's the only one you've got to worry yeah. about. Oh, Especially yeah, after a C-section. <laughs> My lady. I feel like women get like a bad bargain out of this whole pregnancy business. Yeah. <laughs> like, why can't men be the ones who like lactate? <laughs> like, <laughs> At make least milk. exactly. You know, like, like, I'll give... like shit. Like, I spent nine months <laughs> like carrying the baby. Now yeah. I gotta produce milk for it too. Yeah. yeah. It's like, come on now. <laughs> get get the men involved. <laughs> Equal rights. <laughs> Just being facetious. Okay. Um, Spice Needle said, you heard RuPaul say it. Is that what it is? I know he says something like, like, sachet away or something like that. <laughs> Have you seen RuPaul's Drag Race? No. Okay. No. That's not really Ryan's demo. It's not my thing. 
He likes watching Walking Dead and like yep. gory things. If it has an explosion, I'm in there. I got. I, I, I mean, I do have to say, like these drag queens are really creative in what they do. Like they make their own outfits, um, and they're very much entertainers in their own right. Cool. Who's who's this one? We just got a new one. I hate how there's a delay. I can't see oh. what's going on. So a lot of these. The Buddha is now following. The Buddha. What's up, Buddha? Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. So honored. <laughs> <laughs> the Buddha is following. The Buddha. The great Buddha. Yes. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Buddha bless you. Wallstrom says, I don't know what comedy juices are. TJ says, when are we getting a beer, bro? I need a drink or three after this Kickstarter. Oh, oh I do. Yeah, I know. We're going to have to drink virtually, man. Just <laughs> call me <laughs> on Skype and then... A Zoom happy hour? Toast. I know. We'll Zoom, Zoom happy hour. Exactly. We should, huh? We should probably set something up. <laughs> Who knew that the last time we'd see TJ was at our wedding? I know. TJ actually came to our wedding, so which is, uh, which is cool. He had on a really cool suit. Yeah, it wasn't as cool as mine, but it was cool. I like it. Like, <laughs> really cool suit. I mean, you're the green, so. <laughs> yeah. The great Ace says it's so crazy to see you lay down these final lines so fluidly. I still don't sol solidly grasp anatomy, so I'm relegated to redrawing a left hand of you two times. Well, it's a lot of it because the anatomy's down. I'm just thinking in short lines and values. So I'm thinking and, and shadows. So I'm thinking, <coughs> where am I going to lay down the shadows? All the heavy blacks. Um, and like here's this hand right here. So this is going to be a hand right here, and this hand is. Uh, um i'm kind of i have an idea of, okay what the the rough contours are going to look like so i'm just getting a really good sense of this once i get a nice sense of this okay now i all i have to do is just go in and start laying out some shadows like this i kind of have a sense of where it is so I'm gonna let the sh these rough shadows dictate my line also. Um, so a lot of this, like this here, I'm just gonna quickly put some air dark areas where I think there's gonna be a lot of shadows. And then from there, Okay, so that's going to be the absolute black area, and from that, I'm going to start pulling something out, out of it. Wallstrom says, no, my wife is breastfeeding, so they're both up every four hours or so. I handle the other three kids' breakfast to bedtime and hang out with the baby slash feed him with the leftover pumped milk. Mm. Wow. She's feeding him and also pumping milk. Good for her. <laughs> <laughs> Multitasking. Man. Yeah. <clears throat> also says, remember, I'm a stay-at-home dad, so I run the home anyway. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Crispy says, ha ha ha, watching this stream in another room eating popcorn. Also mm -hmm. says, my wife took three naps today while I had all the kids. Oh, that's so nice. The great ace says, good for you, man. Great dad and husband. Mr. Josh says, we men definitely have it easier. I did the knife shift for my son, though. I did the sleep training and 75% of the diapers. Tried to carry half my weight there, lol. Yeah, I have the morning shift. That's basically what I have, morning shifts. Our son likes to wake up around six. I am not a morning person. So usually what I'll do is I'll call Ryan on the phone 
to come get him. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm busy. And I usually get up like around four in the morning anyway. And then I continue sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I gotta take off my your girdle. My girdle. Uh, now I can breathe. Oh, that's good. I mean, to be fair, I did most of the night feeding because I too was breastfeeding. Okay, I gotta rotate. So, but now that he sleeps mostly through the night, it helps with getting sleep. TJ says, yes, love the whole event. You had a dope jacket from Zara. The Buddha says, do you ever do any street art or graffiti in the past? I only ask because some comic book artists are mad clean with cans and street work. No, I and never did that. I, I just, I, I didn't grow up in a neighborhood that had a lot of that. So it never, it never really caught on to me anything. Um, yeah. Would you be interested in doing it? Not really. <laughs> graffiti. Graffiti's cool. I have friends who, who, who are graffiti artists, you know. I just never just never call them. That's not really your medium? Nah. No. <clears throat> the Great Ace says, wow, doing the shadows first is so crazy. What would you su suggest to new artists? Do you gain, or two, like, do you gain a solid grasp on anatomy? Um, anatomy, fundamentals, um, once you have a solid grasp on, on those two, um, it's, it'll carry you a long way, you know, with execution and just nailing it, you know. If you guys haven't already, go check out, um, TJ's Kickstarter, yep. new Kickstarter for his ongoing comic series. Yep. That is what Ryan is drawing yep. <clears throat> today. A variant cover for Okanus. I feel so awkward saying it. I feel Okimus. like I'm saying it wrong every single time I'm saying it. Okanus. <laughs> Okanus. That's a cool name though. Don't do it, says I get the anatomy. I'm just amazed at how you're able to shade while actually making the lines. It's. Oh, we have another follower. <laughs> yeah, it's a combination of, of both. As you can see, I'm like I'll draw lines and then I'll go. I'll switch over to shading. I'll go back to lines and back to shading. Yeah, it's just a combination. Daniel's 12 is now following. Oh, thank thank you. you. Thank you. Appreciate it, ma'am. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate it. Wallstrom says to hell with 6 a.m. My kids know where the pop tarts, <laughs> pop -tarts are. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like the more kids you have, the more lax you get. <laughs> yeah. Well, it'll it'll benefit you benefit you uh, later in life. That way, you don't you know put them all to work. <laughs> put them all to work. Yeah, that's what that's what my dad did. My dad, and we I had there were five of us, so my dad would put us all free to work. labor. Every single one of us. The Great Ace says, I'm really good at shading and inking and coloring, but drawing dynamic poses is like the bane of my life. Oh, you should have taken the d dynamic class that we had. <laughs> Comic Pro Bootcamp dynamic class. Crispy Papa says, LOL, we were just talking about men having it easy. Then Ryan comes out with, I've taken off my girdle and now I can breathe perfect timing. <laughs> <sighs> TJ says, haha, you got it right. Thank you, sis. No problem. The Great Ace says, hmm, how much are these comic book uh, boot camp classes? Yeah, I can answer that. <laughs> um, 
So the classes are $65 for each topic. $65 for each topic. Or is it each topic? Each, yeah, each subject. Yeah. yeah, so basically each topic in the course is 65 and usually what we'll do is we'll put out a package. Um, and if you buy like all six classes or seven classes, um, you'll get like a discounted rate for buying it in bulk. Um, each topic is, you get, within each topic there's two sessions or two two class sessions. So the first session is on Wednesday and that's the lecture class. So the instructors will, will teach you for about an hour. Um, you get your, your work time with your peers mm -hmm. and then you come back and then um, they will critique um, whatever you guys did in that class or in that um, 30 minute break, work break session time. Yeah. And then on Friday is a critique session. So uh, what will happen is the instructors will go over your work. Uh, you, submit in, you submit your work and then they will go over your work um, in real time. So, um, you can see what needs improvement, what you did well, and you need to go through this. Woohoo! Oh, thank you, thank you. Who was this? Who was this one? This is new. Uh, TJ says worth every penny. Oh, Winnie, nine eight eight. Hi Winnie. Winnie. Hi Winnie. Thank you. Appreciate it. TJ says worth every penny. Thanks, TJ. Thank you. Thank you, TJ. Now give me all your pennies. <laughs> <clears throat> um, the great ace says only asking because I'm currently unemployed. Thank you, COVID. Oh. It's an online class. <laughs> I assume there's a website I can go look this up. Yes, it is. It's an online class website. Just go to comicbrobootcamp.com, <laughs> and um, we also have an Instagram and a Facebook um, chat page. Is also what it, what it call it? What did it call it? Huh? What's this, the Facebook group? That's what it is. Facebook group. Oh yeah, I don't know if I have access to that. I don't have Facebook, you guys. So whatever yeah. happens in Facebook. Someone wins it. <laughs> so the Facebook group, um, you know, it, it, a lot of students are on there and they just kind of comment from time to time, you know. Yeah. That's different things. Yeah. I also think there's a Discord channel. Yes, there is. Yeah. Um, that the students go and then they like critique their own art. Yeah. And um, go from there. So I, I like that the students are you know, communicating with each other and really building a community. So it's really great. The great A says, oh, sorry. Did I, did I read this? Is this an online class? Uh, yes. Okay. As you guys can tell, I'm very in the present moment right now. <laughs> I'm tired. Okay, the great A says thanks, definitely saving that link. Oh, thanks TJ for linking that. Wallstrom says, I like the dancing star announcement that Ryan obviously picked out all by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have to call him out like that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, you know me. Do you not like the choice of a dancing star that I picked out? <laughs> I 
The great ace says I check the website. I assume follow the Facebook page for updates on when a class will be opening up. Um, I would follow the Instagram. Yeah, we, we announce most of this stuff on Instagram. Yes, it's Comic Pro Bootcamp. At Comic Pro Bootcamp. Hi, why hi? He says hi, everyone. He said why hi. Walstrom says disappointed in the lack of tea this week. It's too hot for tea. <laughs> Well, thanks, Great Ace, for following the Insta. The Insta. Yes. Definitely be on the lookout for the class to see if there's anything you'd want to take. Um, it should be a fun set of classes. Who's a new follower? You know you can check right here. Oh, I can? Yeah. Oh, okay. All Ryan wants to do is draw. Is it? I don't know if it's bigger. There. There you go. Woo the official... Jim Barney. Jim Barney. Who did we miss before that? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm, I'm laughing at Spicy's old response. Why is this? Hey, Ryan and Hannah, got any referrals for a plumber? I got some major issues. <laughs> oh, no. No. The Spicy's old says, that sounds shitty. <laughs> Actually, we might. <laughs> we'll have to. DM, DM it to you. Are you an SD? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Wallstrom says I heard the Mario Brothers are good. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Why are you says yes, it is. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me, let me go. Oh, Wallstrom. my gosh. Real quick. I'll, I'll come. I got a plunger. I'll, I'll come and I'll help you out. All right, that was a new follower, and I, I just completely missed it. But thank you, appreciate it.
Yeah. Okay, so I've got a sense of this. There's a lot of characters. <laughs> a lot of characters. On this cover. says it looks masterful. Cool, cool. In the words of Doctor Strange, teach me. <laughs> <laughs> he says shout out to Alan Hubbard. Oh, Alan. Wait, wait, wait. Alan's not here, is he? I don't think so. Uh, I'll let him know. Alan is... Who said it? TJ. Oh, TJ. Oh. Alan is a dear friend of ours. Yeah. <clears throat> Alan is, um, I think he's in, um, the East Coast. Is it, um, Mar not, not Maryland, um, Boston. Boston. He said, no, I just thought our boy. Just John said, was there ever something you used to be super bad at, but now you love drawing? Um, super bad. That's, uh, not very specific. Um, super bad. Inking. Inking. That's an absolute <laughs> one. TJ said the two-step. <laughs> <laughs> the two-step. I was pretty bad at the two-step. One, two, I kept doing threes and fours. Like, come on now. <clears throat> Just one and two. Just do one, two. You're a boy. So boring. Ryan tried to teach me how to dance. Oh, I can dance. Like, <clears throat> in the island style, I guess. Ooh. <clears throat> I, I love... just felt like I was doing the funky chicken the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love dancing. I love, um... Especially, uh, you know, Caribbean music. I, I do that all night. Hey. Um. Why well, so? Thanks for the DM, Hannah. Hopefully, it's not as bad as I think it is. We've actually never personally used him, but my parents did, and they recommended him. So, and my parents are picky AF. So. <laughs> Hopefully he's still in business. Why well, say what kind of dancing did Ryan do again? Breaking? Um <laughs> Island. Like well, how would you describe it? Um dance <coughs> style kind of? It's uh well a lot well a lot of it, the, the 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 music um it's 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 Caribbean dancing, you know. You just dance to like you know do reggaeton or um, soca, you know. And you dance to uh, those, those type of music. It's an island dance. I don't know the specific name of the dancers, um, <clears throat> but it's the uh, it's the type of dance that you just when you feel it, you know. It's like you just capture the rhythm and you just you just go. Paradise. Yeah. You know, that's 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 one of the beautiful the beautiful thing I love about reggae music. Um, if you because reggae music is universal, you can go to any country, any festival, anywhere. Just play some Bob Marley or just pretty much any reggae joint, and the crowd will dance. You know, um, you can go to go to a wedding in the middle of a wedding, and you just 
put on a, a reggae track, people were like, oh, okay, this is cool. They want to move, you know? So that's what, that's what I love about reggae. It's universal. It's, it includes everyone. It doesn't segregate. Bob Marley is like, you know, one love. Perfect. Perfect. You win. Flawless victory. Teacher says when we all take an island trip, twenty twenty five. Probably. Uh, I, I just spoke to my dad. My dad was out in the Caribbean, so I just spoke to him, and I'm like, I was telling him, dude, man, I, I need to come out there, like, now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? You know, like, screw America. I just want to go. Risk it know? all. Let's just Let's go, go travel now. <laughs> Seriously. I, wanna, I wanted to go just kick it on the beach and sit. And I just spoke to my dad. He was like, yeah, there's, there's no COVID uh, infections on, on his island. Zero. So if we go, would we have to be quarantined? We probably would. They'd probably be like, oh, look at these these years. Americans. They're trying to come up in here. Just you know? revert to your <laughs> to your island. Um, you know, the island outside. next to him. He said they had two, and then there was another one. They said they had fourteen on one island, another island. But um, but on his island, there's zero, and there's about I would say there's a population of about maybe 40,000 people on that whole island. Wow, that's not a lot of people. It's not a lot, but, you know. It's like a stadium full of people. 40,000 people. Wall Storm says Calypso. Calypso? Meringue? TJ says Meringue? Preach. I love reggae. It's about love. Yep. The Mortal Kombat is a favorite of all time. Why I said, dude, my boss got mad and traveled to the Bahamas, but everything was closed because of COVID, so he couldn't do anything fun. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I guess he could enjoy the view. Yeah, go to the beach. Yeah, that's all you can do. Yeah. Go to the beach. Unless they shut down the beach. <laughs> it's like, no, you can't go to the beach. You're like, what? Not even the beach? Can I breathe this air? All he did was order room service. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that would be, be shitty. You're stuck in a hotel. You know. yep. Are you going to turn it off? Turn what off? The AC? Yeah. Well, you're right under the vent, so that's probably why. Yeah. Why well, I said, yeah, he did order a lot of room service. That sucks. He bet he had a story to tell. I'm sure. I traveled to the Bahamas during COVID and stayed in my hotel room <laughs> and ordered room service. Wallstrom says, according to the script, it's now time for ghost stories. Oh, yeah. Ghost stories. I feel like we've exhausted all of our ghost stories. No, I got a couple more. Really? I guess. I don't know. Maybe. Do you, guys, sure. do you guys believe in spirits? I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there, most of the people out there believe in ghosts or spirits or something. I feel like anytime I see anything like where I feel like I think something's moving out of the corner of my eye, I 
think it's a spirit. If if I saw something moving in the corner of my eye, I'm gonna try and break it down scientifically first before I even go towards oh, there's got to be a spirit. So, but um, yeah. yeah, I already know me too much. I like to be open to the possibilities. I'm, I'm gonna think. Oh, it's gotta be that. a draft. It gotta be this. It gotta be that. Yeah, that's more cool. <laughs> cool. Live your life with a little, little bit of fear. No, it's like it's more cool to say, "Oh, yeah, there was a spirit in my house." And, just, you know. and what's the worst a spirit gonna do? They gonna say "boo," you know? I mean, they could mess up. The, the energy, like the vibe. The energy vibe? Yeah. Don't they got something better to do? No. Let me look at my hand. That's yeah. cool. Woohoo! Follow up. We got another one. Well, what, what else are Tear, you going to do? Oh. Did you miss it? Tear Taro? Like, it's just hard to read it. The screen's kind of tiny. But thank you. Appreciate it. Tiro Taro. What did you ask me? The dancing star is so cute. Why are you hating on it while it's still working? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> okay, um, on. TJ says I was going to book a trip to Jamaica, lol. Going to wait a few weeks, maybe. I said, yes, I do. Spice Weasel says no more hot dog stories, though. <laughs> Wallstrom well, says Ryan's book was called Phantom Guard. Of course, he got more ghost stories. It wasn't regular guard. <laughs> Ray says, Ray. TJ says, Sage apparently cleanses the energy in the space. Yeah, Hannah believes that. She does that. I just did it today. Yeah. I saged our house. I like sage in my food. So, my friend's son is named Sage. He named him after uh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, <laughs> he actually he has a son named Raiden also. And Moon. And Moon, Moon Raiden Sage. I, know. I, I told Ryan I was like, "Hey, what if we named our our son Moon?" <laughs> and, uh, he was like, "No, I have a friend." Yeah, I already have a friend named. You know, like, I don't it, it feel I weird like, trying to snag someone like, else's name. So? <laughs> it could be like Korean too, like moon. Moon? Yeah. Yoon, moon. Yeah. Crispy says if I see something moving and it doesn't look right, I'm selling the house. Yeah. All you have to do is just sage the house. <laughs> yeah. Well, Stern says, I said I like this star. Spice it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing, <coughs> Wild Storm. We missed you the last two weeks. <laughs> GG says, whoa, great minds. Yep. For this character, because he's so smooth, I have to... Hey, um, is there another one? No. Oh, what's this one? It's, it's just my, a like? No, it's my text. Oh, okay. Which will probably go off again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do believe in energy. So. Of course. And um, I feel like I'm in a stage in my life where I like to stay open mm. in terms of like things relating to spirituality and stuff like that. TJ says the character is so smooth. You will be you will you will treating it differently. Another yeah. Another type of rendering. Yeah. The, the, my approach is going to be slightly different because the armor because he has armor on. So. You know what this cover kind of reminds me of? Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if if you've ever seen those kids books, young adult book called Meta Metamorphosis. Metamor oh. <laughs> what about it? That's what it reminds me of. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. like like they're morphing. Yeah, morphing. <laughs> kind of, even though they're different characters. My morphing Power Rangers. Oh, metamorphs. <laughs> yes. That, that, like, like, it gives me those kind of vibes. I remember looking at those covers, but I've never actually read the book. Metamorph. Wallstrom says the character is so smooth. Billy D. Williams gonna sue for likeness. I don't know. <coughs> Billy D. Who's Billy D. Billy D. Williams. What happened? In Star Wars. Oh. Hey, hello there. But what happened? What do we have here? Remember? I know, but like, <laughs> what happened? He's um. He's like, how you doing, Chewbacca? No. Said, uh, Did he sue for likeness before? I don't know, I guess. <sighs> TJ says Colt 45. Style. Colt 45, exactly. Frey says rule number one never earn out of Colt 45. Yeah, never earn out of Colt. That's true. Okay. Rule number one. Uh, <coughs> For a minute, I was about to say, was he in um, um, what's was the the, the 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 Disney one, Boba Fett? <laughs> but it wasn't him. It was the other the other actor named Carl Carl uh, whatever his last name. He was in Rocky. Hello, new subscriber. Hello. I don't know who roll, you are. Roll Roland Nolan. Ro Roland Nolan. Thank you. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Roll Nolan? Roll Nolan. Roll Nolan? Or is it Rollin' Olin? <laughs> Break down the syllables. The, 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 um, breaking down the syllables. Can you hit play? Thank you. It's like a pause for you. Oh. Automatic. Wallstrom says, Hannah, the joke is that Billy is so smooth. Billy oh. is. He is a smooth dude. He's like, he's, uh, she don't know because she's, she's too young. But, um, <clears throat> Bill, Billy D was like the smooth brother, you know? Oh, okay. Hey, hey. Wallstrom says, wait, wait, no, no, no. TJ says, John Carlo S. Wallstrom sure says also Ryan's BBW impression is fantastic. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, what line do you want me to say? Just make it up. Um, what other line have you said I haven't said yet? Um, um oh, what's the one of the Death Star he said? Um, oh man, there was a, another line too. I, I, it's in the top, it's in the tip of my tongue. I, I can hear it. I just can't. I don't remember the first part of it. That's why I'm like, pause it for a minute. Quick line. Trying Give to him a line. Give me a line. Glow Poppin says Carl Weathers. Yeah, Carl Weathers. Mr. Josh says Pootie Tang is another of Billy D's. We'll do better against those Star Destroyers than we will against the Death Star. <laughs> no, that wasn't a line. It was another one. I mean, I'm sure he said it, but that, that wasn't the one I'm thinking of.
Is Taylor still up? Yeah. Taylor, man, you like a trooper. Do you work from home, Taylor? Yeah, do you work from home or you just kind of <clears throat> toughing it out tonight? Like, I'm going to get weird up. Well, you know what? I used to I used to go to sleep at three in the morning and then still get up around seven. So I'm sure Taylor can do it too. The only time I did that was when I was in high school, and that's because I stayed up to watch anime, <laughs> pretended to do schoolwork, but I was actually watching Naruto. <laughs> Walsham says, well, welcome, I'm Lando Cal Calrissian, I'm the administrator of the circle. Oh, TJ says, yes, I do, lol, I learned not to sleep from you. Oh, uh, yeah. Of all the things to learn from Ryan. <laughs> how to not sleep. He said, Obi-Wan, he said, I love anime. No, so so TJ, I'm assuming he, um, he's um, he's a pretty young guy. So I'm, I'm going to draw him as a young guy. So that way I'm, there's no um, I'm not at fault. Are you coloring it too? Um, I don't think so. Oh, okay. You're just doing the pencils. I think I'm just doing the pencils and inks. Oh, okay. I don't have the pencils. <clears throat> Wallstrom says, why are you slimy double-crossing no good Why are you <laughs> You've got a lot of guts coming here after what you told yeah, us. So that was a good lie, yeah. Here, uh, okay, now, uh, do, is that smooth, though? <laughs> hell yeah, Every, anything he says is smooth. You know? oh, he was just okay. smooth all throughout the movie. That, that is true. Yeah, you know, he was... Yeah, that's what he, he said that to uh, Han Solo. Oh, and then the um, when, they, when they first met... For after Hold a on. long Glow time. Glow Poppin has to go. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, yes, thank you. Have a good night. Um, TJ, uh, Wildstorm says that's all I got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then TJ says, yes, he's 20. Kale, the main character. TJ says pencils, inks, and we gotta get Sinclair to color. Oh, I'll get Sink to color. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> is that your Billy D? No, Billy D is much, much smoother than that. That's, that wasn't smooth at all. That was rough on the edges. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Wallstrom says, moral of the story, Hannah needs to rewatch Empire and watch it again just to be sure. <sighs> you know, before I had kids, I used to remember little pop culture references. And now I feel like my brain cells just don't cooperate anymore. <laughs> it got replaced by child rearing instincts. <laughs> Did I show him um, the, the video? kid swimming. No. <laughs> Wallstrom says Hannah traded Star Wars for Octonauts. <laughs> <sighs> Man. I, I've learned to tune out kid stuff. So like our oldest could be watching a movie and 
I couldn't tell you what it's about. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Like, I just don't pay attention to it. Cause, uh, so I'll, I'll walk into it and I'm like, what is this kid watching over here? <clears throat> and it's a movie that she watched like 30 times already. It used to be Spider-Verse. Oh my gosh, yeah. That movie got ruined because it was yeah, know, like played <laughs> like so, so many crazy. times. I was sick of it after the, <laughs> the first week. I'm like, this movie again? <laughs> it's funny though, like how kids all love that song. Mm -hmm. I think it's because it's from Spider-Verse. Maybe. TJ says, whoa, that music is relaxing. Yeah, it is. It's called Daybreak from Coca Bono. Oh, are, you, are you sleepy, TJ? <laughs> are you sleepy? Wallstrom says, I found the quote that blast came from the Death Star. That thing's operation. Yes! That's it. That's it. That's the one. The Death Star one. That thing's operational. Yep. It. Do it, do it, do it. No, no, he he just did it for me. He, he already ruined it. He took the wow factor out of it. What? <laughs> he found the life for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. You may watch him go through all that. And you're like, no, I'm not gonna say it now. <laughs> Ooh. <It's> terrible. <laughs> TJ says, hey Ryan, drink some water, bro. Hello. I know, I need some. Jesus. Why is this dang? Seems like Ryan is streaming later and later at night. I'm parched. <laughs> parched. Yes, I know I am. I should. I, sh I should have been. What time is it? I should have been done of all of that. Did you drink your drink? Yeah, I finished my drink. Oh, oh there's a little bit left. But... Was it grown up drink? Yes, it's grown up drink. <laughs> it's, um, it's grown up drink. It's the. Um, um, what am I forgetting the stupid name of it? What's the name of that drink? White Claw? Yes, White Claw. They got me some White Claw over here. TJ said, also, STCC emails went out with applications for artist hours. Oh, it did? Hmm. Walson says, I'll give Ryan a pass after he spit those fire bars a few weeks back. Ah. No. Why well, I said Ryan spit hot fire and he missed it. I, I, I'm not rapping. I'm well, not singing. Well, you you can go look up this highlight video that I think Wallstrom kindly curated. <laughs> oh, I'm good. I will never rap ever. TJ says grown up drinks are the best. Mr. Josh says, you know good lowdown Corinthians. Just kidding, I'm nice. Lando in the Cleveland show. I don't think I've actually watched that show. <laughs> Why well, I said, could Dylan really be Dylan? Could Ryan really be Dylan? Hmm. <laughs> I wish my brother was here. He's really good at um, trivia. Trivia and, you know, coming up with like cool lines and stuff. That's, that's his thing. Can you guys see that? I, was, I think I was off screen. But yeah, so I'm trying to get that. Check on that space from time to time. What you think, Taylor? Give me your uh, opinion so far. <laughs> I like how Wildstorm linked it. Linked your um, video. 
rapping. My rap video. Yeah, in the chat. She just said, whoa. <laughs> Why it says no, it's pronounced Dylon from Dave Chappelle show, I guess. Dylon, Dylon, and Dylon. TJ said Joel, didn't he get didn't he just get married? Yes he did. He sure did. I'm a, I'm gonna get him on one of these uh streams one day. I'll get him on there. He made his first appearance. Because of Star Trek? Yeah, we had to get them on, we had on the horn. a Star Trek question. A Star Trek question. And then you guys got the, the got it straight from him. You saw how good he is. Yeah. Joel is like the life of the party. Yeah, he is. Any party. Just drop him in a party and he yeah. guaranteed he, he will. He's like a people person. Yeah. Like he'll That's talk right. to somebody and you think, you know, he's. <laughs> That he knows them, but he just met them like yeah. exactly. two minutes ago. <sighs> Why I said yes at Wallstorm with that great Batman in the background. <laughs> Oh, TJ said, killer. You say that your rap skills are amazing. Mona, well, no, you don't have to, uh, you know, you don't have to like everything I do. <laughs> I, I'm, I suck at it. Wallstrom says, SDCC week rhyming with CDC speak. It's gotta be the best Whoa. bars of all time. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Oh, Lord. Sterling Sanders says, spot. Or spits hot fire. Spit hot fire. TJ says looking great, Ryan. I'm, I'm glad that nobody clipped the video of me rapping. Oh, man, that's the best part. Yeah. Oh, I need a bacchiatomy. <laughs> oh, it's freaking so close to like. Uh, my neck and my back. Uh, it's just killing me. Whoa. <laughs> TJ says, looking, did I already say this? Looking yes, right, right? yes, yes, yes. You said <laughs> okay. that. Yeah. <laughs> TJ said, wait, Hannah rapping? <laughs> nope. She was rapping burritos. <laughs> for I feel like I should do yoga or something while we're hosting. <laughs> I started doing yoga and yoga's been helping out my my back issues that I've been having. I've been having some serious back issues. So a couple years ago, um I was working because I was working on my computer hardcore doing a lot of 3D, 3D animation. Uh, I had really bad posture for, for years. Um, and then I would go play basketball where I'm just like constantly jumping up and down and ramming on my spine. Then I'd go back and sit a, a, on a computer, bad posture. So um, it was, uh, it, it, it took a toll on, on, on my health, on my posture, my, my, my body after a couple of years and um eventually i couldn't i was in an l shape where i was bent over my back straight and i could not straighten my back you're like a 90 degree angle. I, was at, I was i was at a 90 degree angle for about two months i could not straighten my back that's how bad it was um and i don't know why i never went to the doctor I just kind of tucked it out for two months it's because you're like, oh, I'm young. It'll, <laughs> it'll, it'll, like, it'll, it'll go away. It'll yeah. go away. Let me play some more basketball. Um, and, then, and then eventually I went to the doctor and then he gave me an, an injection in my buttocks. And that took away all the pain and I could just straighten up. Uh, and then I started doing therapy and I did spinal decompression. And I did all uh, other physical therapies and it actually helped my, my my back 
and I can move and stuff like that, right? So, um, eventually, you know, my back pain came back. Um, and when it came back, I, I was like, uh, this was recently that it came back. So I'm struggling now to try to figure out, okay, how, how am I going to get this back pain out of here? Um, and I discovered yoga, which is something I, I, I was always against, you know, doing yoga. And I discovered that, that yoga You're helps. very resistant. I was very resi resistant to yoga. Yeah. Like, I'm like, nah, man. Yoga's for girls. You know? And then, um, and I tried it out, and I'm like, wait a minute, this thing works. <laughs> yeah. And yoga works. Yeah. And downward dogs and upward caterpillar. What is, what is it called, the other one? <laughs> what? It's like the, the oh one was called a tabletop or something. It's called a tabletop. Tabletop position. And there's a cat, cat cow. Cat cow and the, the the baby prime pose or whatever it's called. Baby cobra. Baby cobra. No, the other one, the primal one, when you kind of just like you like put your legs kind of bent, just kind of flat out, flatten out on everything. So yeah, they have tons of poses. <coughs> Did somebody follow? Somebody did. Did you catch their name? No, I did not. I was talking about yoga. Z-Rex568 is now following. Thank you, Z-Rex. Appreciate it a lot. Um, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. I hope you like my jokes. Because uh, I crack a lot of jokes. It's funny to me, so... <laughs> you know, that's all that matters. It's, it's, it's all that matters. As long as I'm laughing, it's the only thing that really matters. <sighs> oh, yeah. Wallstorm wrote out these bars, and Ryan refused to do the first one. All right. What? I'll do it. You already did. I, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll make it right. I'll make it right. I'll do it right. Oh, and now you have to redeem yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You don't call me out like this. I mean, I feel like I did way better than you. Yeah, you did. <laughs> We're very competitive. Like, we'll play Uno and I'll get mad if he oh. wins. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, so, and sometimes I'll, I'll like revert, I'll play those reverse cards on her just to get her, like, ha ha! And just watch her get angry, and I'm like, I'm sitting here just like, yeah. Usually I want a rematch. Yeah. <laughs> Uno. And then we'll time, have yeah. swap hands and be well, like, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Although our son ruined our Uno pack. So. He was like, this is destroying the family. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, we've been, we've been playing it because our daughter can also play it. So, but we haven't played it. Because, like I said, our soon, our soon, our son <laughs> wrecked the deck of cards that we had. So there's probably like a good chunk of it missing. <sighs> Wallstrom says, if I could remember what stream it was, I could possibly find it. You would literally have to go through three hours of footage just, just remember to get the, me the, rapping. The, the dates, if you if you know the date or. No, he's talking about finding my my clip. Oh, your clip? Well, that's what I'm saying. If if you know if you remember the date. Nope, we don't remember the. Yes, date. you do. We just no, remember the date, and then go back and find that clip, and then. No, can, we don't. You can. Um... TJ says, "Ooh, the mind would would also practice MMA after your oh, your basketballs." 
back to play? I did. I would do basketball, then I'd go to some MMA, and then I would just uh, go back to my table with my shitty posture. <clears throat> just ruin everything. TJ says, I'm going to take yoga classes. He said, is it one called the spicy chicken? <laughs> <laughs> What does that Ooh. even look like? Yeah, I don't know. What does a spicy chicken look like? Are you walking around like this? Can, can Just you go for it? Can you draw it? Draw it out. <laughs> Zerex says this looks amazing. The crunchy chicken. Oh, whilst we're delivered. Uh oh, he delivered, delivered some lines. Yeah. Look at him. He, he, he got lines to galore. Yeah. Right, lines galore. Buster rhymes. <laughs> TJ said, let's go. I'll do, I'll do it when I'm done. I'm not done yet. Yeah, I'm done. I'm not going to stop. Just... He's going to see if he can right. outlast both you guys. Because you guys are on the East so Coast. If you, if you... It's almost 3 a.m. for yeah. you guys. He's going to fall asleep before I have time. <laughs> Twitch lost the... The, um, the, the, the stream... Or, are we all are we no i'm saying like you would say something like oh twitch lost the footage oh, okay. of me rapping oh well whilst from so chick fil a then they <laughs> you know the only time i crave chick-fil-a is on sundays <laughs> <laughs> when it's closed <laughs> yeah That's why. i'm like oh like there's Chick-fil-A, and it's usually on Sundays, I'm like, damn it, it's closed. <laughs> Every single time without me. Mm. Get it right. Your girdle. Probably do. I need my girdle. A little bit. TJ says, man, that's looking really dope. He said, hang in there, big bro. I'm trying, man. I'm doing this for you guys. I'm in pain I'm doing this for you guys. Okay, he's for TJ. <laughs> TJ, yeah. Come on now. He's breaking his back for you. <laughs> I'm breaking my back for TJ. Trooper. Well, I'm fast, so should be able to just fly through this pretty quick. says all family. Yeah. He's a dick. I am sleepy. I've been sleepy. Is it the music? Or is it the uh, Oh look, sleep? it's 555. Five. 
should go play the lottery. Kidri says, can't wait for you to see the interior pages of issue four. I drew the crap out of them. Uh, <laughs> nice. She said, you'll be proud, man. So TJ, how long does it take you to, to um, produce an issue? Do you typically come out with one a year or is it more than one issue? said four months with my day gig. Nice. One issue a year. He said that I'm writing another three books. Alright guys. By the way, how's your brother? Yep. TJ says I need to draw faster. <laughs> Wallstrom is just waiting for you to wrap up. <laughs> Keep waiting, man. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. <clears throat> this man is dedicated. He plans his Mondays around you. It's coming. <laughs> TJ says sleeping, but he's good. Oh, well, that's good. And, and the family is good, too? I think I met your dad. Yeah, he came. And the house for me? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Wallstrom is on a mission to find my rap highlights. <laughs> and he's going to find it too. I, I know he will. This is why you have to be careful, kids. No. <laughs> lightning Flamer on? 24. Oh. What's up, Lightning Flamer? He said, they said I'm learning eight head anatomy. Mm -hmm. You have another? Gil's theme. Hello, Gil's theme. Welcome, welcome. Is it Guile? 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 I think. Guile. Yeah, I think it is Guile. That's a correction. Lightning Flamer says, Are you making a comment? Yes, I am. This it's, is. Uh, well, I'm not doing the comment, I'm just doing the cover. Um, For. Um, Okimus. Did I say it right? It's a Kickstarter, and we actually pasted the link in the, the chat. I'm going to paste it again so we can have it. Maybe, Taylor, if, you, if you're there, just go ahead and paste in the link again. Or, or just keep pasting it. Okay. Um, the just, so, just so they, they can have it. It's eleven thirty over here, so that means it's two thirty on the East Coast. When you guys gonna go to sleep, y'all? You guys are like up. Oh, you guys are troopers, man. Two thirty. I would have fallen asleep already. So we mean, I don't want to ruin your Mondays, you know. We got plans and stuff. <sighs> I, I almost want to. If I can eat this 
in like a painted style instead of just like traditional, you know, comics. Hmm. Maybe I can test it out or something. It'll have to be done um, digitally, which I am going to do it anyway. But I was thinking, um, I've been I've been playing around with Procreate. Um, I ever have to do a Procreate re review, and I've been playing around with it, um, and I, I'm loving it, man. Procreate's amazing. Um, and I'm thinking maybe I could. I do some like fancy type of inks with this. It's slightly different. So, kind of treat it more like concept art type of thing. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna think about it. We'll see. <clears throat> if I go that route, at least you know, just the structure there. All I have to do is just do some fancy inks on it. So. Oh yeah. I'll do a test, and if I, if I like the test, then I'll, I'll do that. If not, I'll just go back to um, just doing regular inks on it. Yeah. So Hannah just left for a little bit. She had some kid duties to take care of. So, um... She's not here to answer or read any of the, the questions or comments. So it's going to be a while before I get to it because I want to stay focused on this. So if you guys want to take a break from commenting, go for it because uh, it's going to be a while before I get a chance to read any of it. Might not be able to wrap. Yeah. So for now, I guess we just zone out and just put, listen to the music in the background and just kind of take a chill. Here we go. Uh, 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 yeah. <clears throat> That's all you get. Hey, um, what much macho? Oh my god, I didn't get the last part. But macho, thank you, I appreciate it. Thanks for Paul.
Woohoo! Alright, get this one, get this one. Animator. Oh, Enthu? I can't even get the rest of it. But thank you, Animator. Appreciate it. I wonder what you animate when you, when you work with software that you work with. If you guys are wondering what I'm listening to, it's, um, yep, it is, things work out eventually. It's actually, it's actually, it's actually Chill Hop, which is one of my favorite channels I listen to as, as my batteries are dying. Let me switch this out real quick. I mean, yes. Yeah, they hear looks good. Thanks, uh, Great Ace. Appreciate it. Thank you, Ray Comics. So you guys, not much commenting. Okay, good. So I'm just going to keep attacking. I'm just going to keep attacking. Um, one of the cool things about uh, inking this digitally, I'm probably going to find, which most likely I will, I'm going to find some issues. Or um, once, once I pull back and I look at this page, because remember, I'm going to add some extra space. So once I find this extra space, and I look back and I look at everything. I, I might go through and do some scaling. Like, so I might have to move this character here or shift the character a little bit left to the left or it, some something like that could easily happen. Um, and and then I so I'll do some some cleanup on the pencils. Uh, uh, and then once I have everything right, then I'll then I'll be able to jump back in and um, uh, I'm going to finish it off on the computer. Just to make sure the structure is right, uh, you know. Little things here and there. Um, Taylor, if you can send me um, any uh, colored versions that you have of this character, the, the phase. In, the, in this character, if you could send that to me, that would, would be great. Um, that would help me out, especially with the rendering, you know, figuring out. Because um, I, I wouldn't want to render something that's, you know, uh, bright, dark. You know, I, I, I need to figure that part of it. So I want to, and I, right now, all I have is a line art for the reference. So I, I just send me something with color, something like that, that would help out. You know, cause right here, see how I'm making this whole area dark, but I'm not sure if it's gray. I'm not sure if it's, uh, red or brown or something, you know, maybe, maybe it's blue or there's a pattern or something, you know. Or me metallic. Maybe this area is metallic and I'm rendering it against cloth. So I want to be able to know all that. Actually goes here. 
But for now, I'm just going to be filling in certain areas. And we can change it later. iOS is uh, telling me to go to sleep right now. I guess it's um, it's reading my patterns. And computers are crazy nowadays. How they they kind of they they aid your daily patterns, you know, throughout life. They get to coach you and say, "Hey, don't forget to walk. You're supposed to walk today." Get your 20 minutes of walking, or don't forget to eat this or take that. It's crazy how technology. It's almost like we're living in 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 a Blade Runner, you know. All right, why hi? Thank you. Why uh, is out. Casual hero. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Casual hero. Mister Piggy Piggy. <laughs> remember Wizard Magazine? Yeah, I do remember Wizard Magazine. That's from um, back in the day, man. It's crazy. Uh, the great ace. I was trying to draw my girlfriend yesterday, and I realized that black people's hair is super different compared to Asian. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, char characteristics that I'd worked with before. It's it was a very cool learning experience. Yeah, um, there's a pattern. This there's uh, and it, there's, there's there's a difference in how you want to draw them. Also, okay. Um, okay, and it's back. Um, yeah, there, there's a difference. Um, I'm not going f in the full version for the hair because when I'm inking, I'm going to scale this up higher. I'm going to uh, up res the resolution. Um, so, so I'm going to put even more details in in, in, in this uh, as I'm going because I kind of feel like I'm drawing uh, about two, th about a, a third of the actual size I, I would normally have to draw. It, so. <laughs> so once I actually scan it in, I bring it in. I'm obviously gonna have to uh, increase a lot of detail and stuff like that to kind of make it look right, you know. So. Did you want some? Uh, I. Water? Did I what? Um, no, I'm fine. I'm sure you did. Are you trying to get me prepped so I can wrap? Well, where was the last? Um, the long comment about drawing uh, black hair. Oh, okay. Oh, why, why I have to go? Yep. The Great Ace says your style is very fluid. Can't wait to see the final product. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you.
Is it? I'm gonna leave that open for now. I'll come back to that later. You want some sparkling water? Um. Sure. I'll take some of that, maybe. Give me your cup. <laughs> Are you okay? <coughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> Ryan choked on his water. <laughs> He's okay though. The great ace says COVID alert. <laughs> <coughs> oh man, dude, you guys are getting it raw tonight. <laughs> what happened there? <coughs> no, I actually turned my back was just like killing me and then um, the reaction caused me to like freak out and then, <laughs> the whole drink just kind of went down. <laughs> 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 oh, <man. coughs> good. Uh, oh yeah, I'm good. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, okay, here we go. Sorry about the cough. <clears throat> it's not COVID. It's sparkle water. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to transmit something <clears throat> to the wires electronically. I got some electronic modules coming to me. <clears throat> by midnight. The dog has really big ears. Right. <clears throat> so here. <clears throat> 
Alright, I get it down to here. He says, don't forget those forearm blades. Yep, yep. <clears throat> get to it. Try to get the other patterns down first. He said, yes, the geometry is a bit complex, my bad. <laughs> <clears throat> That's okay. I can figure it out. <clears throat> Christy says, whoa, just realize how quickly this cover is coming together. Bravo, <laughs> sir. Yeah, I'm pretty fast, guys. I can't help it. <clears throat> <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. I'm pretty fast. <clears throat> That's probably why I have like 90 things to, to work on. <laughs> you know. about his outfit because he's kind of shiny looking so part I'm partly improvising on some of the areas even though it's there but um, the art style I was drawn it's not how I typically draw it <clears throat> or how I typically draw so I have to interpret some of the shininess into um, a different pattern not to figure out how, how do I render it. <clears throat> so a lot of this stuff here, um, it's not the final. <clears throat> it's a lot of this most mostly an impression. Um, so when I go to inks, it'll. I'll definitely lay down the final parts. <sighs> oh yeah, I forgot to give him some water. <clears throat> Josh Smith had a question and it got answered. <laughs> oh. He said, I, you just answered. So are you going to ink this? And I guess you. <laughs> I guess I am. Yeah. Well, Austin says, back, wife and baby just woke up, so I got them set up. Nice. Cool. That's amazing that a newborn only wants to <clears> eat <throat> every four hours. I know. It's usually two, right? 
Two hours? Two or three hours? <clears throat> yeah. Some babies want milk. One and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> Feed me, I just fed you. Yeah. And as newborns, they take forever to eat, and you're like <laughs> trying your hardest to not fall asleep. Hurry up and eat, man. <laughs> Pretty much. I think it's like an all night diner or something. <laughs> 24 hour. I hop in. <laughs> I have in the house. <clears throat> Energizing. TJ says, have you guys watch, watched Lovecraft Country? No. No. Is it on Netflix? Wallstrom says, I can't find those bars. <laughs> hmm. Ryan is still finishing it. Yeah. <clears throat> Josh says, is this always how tight your pencils are, even when you're going to ink yourself? Um, yeah. Well, no. Not all the time. Um, there are times that I go a little lo looser than this, um, <clears throat> but I I want this to go through uh, this. Well, it has to go through some of, of, of the a, approval process, so I kind of want to <clears throat> get the, the pencils right. What is Lovecraft Country about? Yeah. It's about Atticus Black joins his friend Letitia, is it Letitia? Mm. <clears throat> and his uncle George to embark on a road trip across 1950s Jim Crow America in search of his missing father. Is this like a documentary? No. Hmm. I like watching these types of shows like once the season ends. Mm. So that way I'm not waiting for it every week. Oh yeah. <clears throat> watch it. I just knock it all out in three days. <clears throat> he said it's a pretty cool show. It's spliced with comics and pop culture. Oh. Okay. Monsters, lures, monster lure and creature. <clears throat> Crispy Papa says Mel Melbourne's on or Melbourne on <laughs> is on lockdown for another four weeks. Mm. So I need some suggestions on TV shows to binge on. <clears throat> we have um what I I can't it's it's written in blue on screen so it's hard for me to see it. Go 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 ahead. You can read it, Hannah. Um, <clears throat> dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I thought it was like umbrella. Um, be dumb. Be. Um, be dumb. Be. <laughs> <laughs> um, be dumb. Be. Thank you. Um, be dumb. Be. <clears throat> I hope I'm saying it right. Appreciate it. It's either I'm dumb or I'm be dumb. Be. I'm dumb. Is it you silent? No. <clears throat> Crispy says, just finished Umbrella Academy, now oh, we're yeah. stuck. <laughs> uh, tell me about it. How does it end? <clears throat> Woo All right, it's in, uh, what does it say? Through the art. Thank you, Through the Art. Appreciate it. <clears throat> <sighs> right. Yes, Through the Art. I'm 
I'm moving pretty fast for three characters, four, five characters on one page. <clears throat> TJ says, love how you render metallic. Thank you, thank you. Do the art says, welcome. Beautiful pencil so far, sir. Thank you, thank you. TJ said, I knew it would be easy for you. <laughs> Is it hard for you? <laughs> TJ? Yeah, it's, this is pretty easy. Oh, the dog. Oh, you did? Went on the... I get you. <clears throat> As he was hopping up. On the couch. Yeah. Is it on? Oh. <laughs> Am I getting tired? Um, Zen says, hi, yes, it's fine. I'm a um, yummy. What does that say? Faulty switch? Faulty switch? He says, I'm a um, yummy because my name is Umberto. But once a small kid called me dumb, dumby, <laughs> because of the Dumbo movie. Nice <laughs> art. Good to be here. Hi, Faulty Switch. Thanks for joining the channel. Appreciate it. Wallstrom says 3 a.m. I'm holding Ryan to his word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> Through the art says, who's the character in the front? Love is design. The the writer and creator and writer, he's on the, the board, so yes. he can answer all that. His username is Ray Comics. <clears throat> Ray his Comics. His name is TJ. He is the creator of this comic called Okemus. Mm hmm. You said it right. <laughs> How did you come up with a name, TJ? <clears throat> Woohoo! I'm gonna finish that part later. Josh Smith says, Who do you dig art wise of some of the more recent guys? I slept on Jerome Opena until recently, and now I'm blown away and wondering who else I might have missed. Um. <clears throat> Well, probably the latest artist that I can say that really blew my mind that I fell in love with was Mirka, <clears throat> which I, I, I mean, I, 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 I didn't really learn about her t until like recently, like, you know, yeah, yeah when we were in, in uh, Japan and then, um, and then I, and then I ran into her again, she was in Italy <clears throat> and she was in Italian. Yeah, she actually lives there. So, um, her name is Mirka on on Dolfo, I think. The, the Mirka and and Dolfo. Yeah, <clears throat> Mirka. I have a horrible accent. Is it Mirka or Mirka? I'm pretty sure there's an accent yeah. that you need to throw on there somewhere. Yeah. I, mean, <clears throat> I feel like she's pretty well known. Uh, well, yeah, well, not to me. I, I, I mean, I, I recently yeah. discovered. Well, her, I feel like then, her her social media presence was really. And then, um, <coughs> and then we just became like cool friends and stuff. So, chit chat from time to time. She's real cool. Yeah, she was actually supposed to be um, do, doing. I think she was supposed to work on, on my my Kickstarter. She, oh. <laughs> she said she would. <coughs> 
Um, I love her sketchbook. Yeah. Her sketchbook. Though. I have a couple of those. So she, she's out. She's outstanding. Yeah. So <clears throat> I've been watching a lot of um, um, there's a lot of like different online tutorials and stuff like that. Just, just to get a sense of what's out there. You know how people are teaching. What are they teaching? You know, just to kind of see. And there's been a lot of like really good artists out there that's doing stuff. Um, you know, um, <clears throat> I am traditionally trained as a fine artist. Comic book arts was an adaptation to my art skills. Um, it took. Uh, it took about six months for me to kind of get a get a, a grip of it, an understanding. Once I decided, okay, I want to go towards comics, um, it took me about six months of practicing to kind of get some kind of sense of it. Um, and then once I actually came into the industry, it took a couple of years for me to fine tune it. Um, you know. It's one of those those tools you just have to keep sharpening and sharpening and sharpening until you actually get it right. TJ says, hey Hannah, great question. So, Okemos is actually based on a town in Michigan where I'm from. Mm. Crispy Papa says, yeah, Mirka and Dofo is the real deal. Yeah. <clears throat> And she's so humble too, man. Like, like, like she'll you go there and it, actually I have some of her originals that I bought for like forty bucks. And I'm like, why she not selling this for more than forty bucks? Maybe she's she, just being nice. She's yeah. just like, ah. you know, she really. I thought we were supposed to get that one piece for it. Which one? The one piece that you got from her. Oh, get it inked. No, get it. Frames. Oh, oh, well, well, I, I, oh, yeah, I have, I have her like her pencils and stuff like that. Oh, um, yeah, I, I have a collection of, of uh, art in my house. I have a, a hallway that I turn into uh, an, an art gallery. So I, I only keep original art in there. Um, I don't really collect prints or anything. Um, <clears throat> so I have like original art from uh, different people from around the world. And, and I just keep it up. This is like my fine arts gallery. So when you first will come to my house, you see you, you, my gallery is like right there. <clears throat> Umbed says the accent is good. I'm also Italian. Well, hello from Italy. Hey. I hope all is well over there. Yeah. I heard there's a second wave. All throughout Europe, yeah. Crispy says she's got a Mercy comic on, comic out now. Mm. She's doing work on Harley with DC, I think. Yep. She's perfect for that. <clears throat> yeah, she is. She's a she's a great uh, art, artist for like like female characters. Yeah. Yeah, she's outstanding for that. Crispy says her paprika comic strips and snippets are hilarious and a little cheeky. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Crispy says, what? Originals for $40? $40, that's a steal. Yeah, there, there are like some really good artists. I remember m m running into um, some artists from the Philippines and, and also some from Singapore and some guys from, um, you know, just like Thailand, you know, that, that region. And they, these artists are like just outstanding, man. And they're not known. They're just kind of just like, they just like to draw. You know, they, it's like they or or they work. They're working at a studio and they just sit at, at at a studio and they just pump out work, you know, religiously. But they're not. They 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 don't have like a social media or anything like that. You know. Um, well, you also have to understand. Yeah. It's Asian culture. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's a different culture. So. <clears throat> Asians don't care about art. Asians don't care about art. I mean, that's a pretty broad statement, but um, yeah. <laughs> it's about being a doctor or a musician. <laughs> is yes. that what it is? 
Okay. Why would you want to be a starving artist? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, look at Jim Jim Lee. You know, he has that. Um, you know, he was pushed to pursue uh, the medical industry, and he was. And then eventually, he decided to follow his heart, and he said, "I, I don't want to, you know, pursue that anymore. I want to draw for a living." <clears throat> so I could just imagine that conversation, and then. Um, it paid off. Which is a pretty big gamble. But you have to, you gotta gamble in time, in life, man. You know, there's, there's certain things that you, you're gonna wanna do that you have to, have to take a risk. I mean, is it really gambling if, if it's your true calling? Is it your purpose? Is it family, you said? No, I said, is it really gambling? <clears throat> um, in a way it is, because there's no guarantee. No. Um, or, um, I mean, you can't <coughs> have a, 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 a scholarship in comic book art and then expect to, you know, take, sure. take that far in the world, you know, like, um, you know, like, okay, great, you know, I draw comics, and, <clears throat> you know, so it, there's, there's, a, there's a certain stigma attached to it, but there's a certain, if, if you understand um, how, how to manage yourself, how to manage your art, how to manage, um, how to just manage your time and just the industry, and you, you figure out the lefts and the rights, you can absolutely go far in this industry just on comic book art um <clears throat> you just have to know how to, how to maneuver your way through these things tj what sparked your interest in drawing comics um tj wrote ryan which tesla model do you own now oh i still have an s I'm not model s <laughs> He said, gotta have more than one hustle, learn that by watching your grind. Yeah. Hey. Hey, hey. He said, X Men number one, 1992, by Jim Lee. Anime from Japan and game. Nice. And were you encouraged to follow your passion? DJ? Yeah. No. <clears throat> this ain't about you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's all about the Benjamins, <laughs> baby. <laughs> he said yes, but my mother took me to comic shops. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. I like that. <clears throat> it really helps when you have like a parent, a parental authority figure mentor whatever yeah who really nurtures yeah and cultivates that so speaking of that um i, I ain't showing the video but uh i'll tell him about it so i i used to be a junior olympic swimmer when i was younger <clears throat> and um i decided you know because my kid just loves going to the pool but she doesn't know how to swim well, didn't know how to swim. So I was like, you know what, let me try and teach her. Because I used to coach kids when I was younger. Uh, I, was a, I was a swim coach. And so I was like, let me put some of those skills, you know, to work. So that's what I did. And in four weeks, she went from not knowing how to do any strokes to all she can do is just dip her head and just kind of float and then stand up and like dip her head and, float around. And, yeah. flare around and then stand that's all she knew what to do when she went into the swimming pool and then i sat i took her in the pool worked out worked out different strokes with her you know pushed her a little bit uh got her to do things and four weeks later she should i show him yeah okay i, I won't show him 
but four weeks later, uh, uh, we we I put her in the swimming pool, and she's literally like pushing off the wall, doing strokes, flip. I'm like, man, what? what? How did she know all that? How, I mean, I, I, I've been teaching her, but, I, but she learned really fast. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's one of those. Um, Thanks, Ron Rock seventy four for following. Yeah, for me, I'm just trying to figure out like what our daughter is good at and wants to do and help guide and push her towards that direction. You know, I really do believe that, you know, each person is gifted or talented in something. You know, and unfortunately, I feel like that gets that that light sort of dims as we get older, and then we just turn into <clears throat> cranky, crotchety old people because <laughs> mm. <laughs> we didn't fulfill what our true passions were and whatnot because we're too busy to survive. I feel like my role as a parent is to, you know, not tell her what we should, what she should be or tell her what she should do. It's just about helping her find her own voice and her own talents and whatnot. Crispy Papa says, oh man, Jim Lee, X-Men, and 90s changed the way I looked at comics. Mm -hmm. uh, Pay the Fi says, it's your swimmers, bro. TJ says, Ryan, I'm very curious what you will do with the background. Yeah. I'm seeing Walt, you right now. Wall Sturmer says, yeah, I hopped into <clears throat> comics during Jim's X-Men run. Then followed him over to Wallstrom and never left. TJ says you definitely will succeed at being a key to their success. Meaning that you will be a driving force. Moms are the best. Say hello to Ryan as well. Yeah, my mom supported me when I told her I wanted to swim. She um, she would come to my swim meets, you know, practices. He was mm -hmm. always there to take me there and stuff. That's so sweet. Uh, yeah, my, my mom really helped, helped me out, you know, with that side of things. Yeah. You know, and, and I used to live, like, right in the hood. And how, how often do you see a dude in from the hood, like, swimming? Uh, I mentioned before, I was on a team. I was the only black guy on an entire team. And it wasn't just a white team. There were, like, you know, Spanish, Hispanic people, you know. Um, there are people from South America, people from... You know, like Ecuador and Peru and stuff like that. So there were people there. Um, Argentina was one. So uh, um, they were. Um, there was some <clears throat> diversity. Too. Yeah, it was. It was. It was diverse, but I was honestly the the only black person on there. <laughs> um, and I, but. Even when I was on the, on my on my national team, when I was on the national team, there was a guy there, one, another black guy. His name was Tico, um, and he was tall and he was fast. He was really fast, really tall black too. Um, um, and that was it. And we used to go to all kinds of races. It was pretty cool though. I still love it though. I still love it to this day. Alright, 
so um, the background, I'm going to scribble some more lines around. Uh, I'm not going to finish this arm because this arm is going to be mostly blacks anyway. So I'm not going to trip too much about it. Um, so I, I want to do more to put more en more emphasis on this guy here because this is where this is the the last stage of him. So um, I need to put something around him to kind of bring a little bit more attention to him. Um, so I'll probably do that during the inking process. Um, but I'm pretty much done with the pencils. Um, probably. I'd say we're about like 99.5% done with this, with the pencils, so. Yep, this is it, this is the pencils. So, uh, thank you TJ for uh, the opportunity to, to draw on this, and um, you know, kind of put a little, put a little spice in your life. <laughs> Some flair. <laughs> Some flair. <laughs> is that your is, is that your uh, firework? Yeah, that's my firework. That's right. that's my firework. Um, so yeah, because I want to go through and I want to redo some some of the renderings on him. Um, but I'll do that after I, I go over the, the reference uh, the color reference of him. Um, and I want to make some some changes. I'm looking at. You know the center chest piece thing. I want to. I'm going to play around with that somewhere. I want to warp and wrap it a little bit more around his, his body. So I'm probably going to go through, race it, and clean it up later. Um, I definitely want to punch this some stuff back here because I want I want this arm to pop out. Oops, sorry about it. This arm over here. I want this arm to pop out a little bit. So I'm going to definitely going to. Um, so cool. I really like this face, this face is you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm eager to blow it up and add more, even more detail as I'm moving forward. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to beef up some areas back here. I'm not sure what, I think once I convert it to pencil, to the digital pencils, I'll be able to look at it in a different light and I'll flip it around and and I'll see some some ears I can push. So, um, yeah. So, and it'll all be part of the cleanup process when I actually go in to to, to do it. So, but anyway, um, I think you have some something that you can ask. Oh, me. I'm trying not to do it. You know. Mm, um, okay. <clears throat> all right. So, all right. Okay, where, where where are these lyrics you guys want me to? I don't know. You're gonna have to. Is it is it on? Uh, did he send it to chat or something? He did, but I don't know where it is. Oh, it's we in the back. resend it. So resend it, Wildstorm. You gotta go back in history and find it. Yeah, I bet I Wildstorm's it, asleep. I think it timed out. It timed out. Yeah, uh, okay. like it had to restart, and so. Ah, all right. Oh, well, he sent it to you. <laughs> 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 he didn't. He didn't commit all this time for you to just chicken out. Just, just, um, just, TJ says, "Man, thank you. You, you killed it. You killed it, man. I can't wait to see this thing inked and colored. I can resend you color ref as well." Yep, yep. I feel like we need to find you some good background music. Mm, mm, this is good. I, I can play this. You like the chill? Yeah. Slow. Right, there we go. One my. <clears throat> <laughs> you got this, babe. How do you write this stuff so fast, man? Jesus Christ! How do you? That's what he's gifted. You're gifted, gifted at, at at lyrics. Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, let me kind of review it because I'm gonna I'm gonna ruin this. You guys, who needs to go? You guys can go. You don't have to stay to watch this. Okay, you can just. Okay, go to sleep. Good night. See you later. You don't have to watch me butcher these lyrics. Because uh, I'm pretty much done with this art piece anyway. Uh, no more drawing tonight. Um, um, if you always tell me, feel the beat. <laughs> oh, 
あ,あうんうんね、I got no rhythm, man. I got, I'm, see, I'm trying to picture it in my head. My rhythm is just. How are you physically rhythmic, but you can't be lyrically rhythmic? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I got a cough. I can't do this. Just read it. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying. I'm reading it, but I'm trying to like pattern it in my head. So give me some time. Let me get it. <laughs> I think you're thinking too hard. Yeah. Well, I need to. Someone needs me to give me a lyric boot camp, so I can. Lyric boot camp. I can take a lyric boot camp class to learn how to how to. Wall Street says gives me motivation to complete my Wall Street reboot <laughs> pitch. <laughs> oh. Ryan will do it as long as you don't highlight the clip. Yeah, man. Hey, so, uh, Taylor, I, yeah, definitely. So I'm going to clean this. I'm going to scan it in and I'll get you the, the, the pencil so you can, you can, um, you can do what you, you will. can do what you will with it. You can go ahead and post it and do stuff with it. <laughs> I like how Walser says just read it out loud and we'll T paint it in post. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right, there you go. So I'll just read it and then you guys can like go edit it and play around with it, I guess. I don't know. Ugh, Lord of mercy. Uh 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 <laughs> Oh my goodness. If you yeah. ever need to see Ryan Fluster, this is I am Indiana. horrible, horrible. Shh, just, just, if Javon Kirby saw me right now, he would just he would just tell me just stop, just stop, just stop right. <laughs> stop right. <laughs> okay. Um as you can see I'm kinda of sleepy too, so I'm I'm very like super okay. tired right now. Okay. Uh, Monday night streams in Ryan we trust. Tonight's wrap around the corner is Okimus. Character guys and layout we come we overcome the hurdle. Settle into work so we gotta lose the girdle. Time flies quick when the jokes fly in chat. Hannah give give a hard time so Ryan get back. Competitive as heck, but it won't turn out turn into fights or turn to fight put ryan back on so he can rock this mic yeah that was good uh, uh, <laughs> uh, that's my that's the best i can do and the last time i'm doing this i'm never doing that, that again <laughs> don't don't ever tell Last me that, says beautiful to to bust a rhyme says fresh i stick to what i can do Blowing seeds. This is what I can do. Gave so, you lit emoji. <laughs> okay. So, um, oh gosh, I'm taking pain all over. I need to, I need to do some more yoga. Salon pass. Huh? Salon pass. Uh, oh yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I need one of Tiger those. Tiger bomb. Tiger bomb thingies. <laughs> Rice says sweet Ray, or Ray. TJ says we made it. Wallstrom says should have had that tea an hour in. <laughs> All right. All right. So East Coast, thank you. International, thank you for, for coming. Um, I appreciate all you guys. Um, um, we are going to announce some new stuff for Comic Pro Bootcamp um, in the next couple of days. It's, it's going to be, it could be this week, which it won't be a week later. When it's We're, we're going to launch it within the next couple of days so no, just, it's next week. so just look out for it okay so so because we're, we're gonna have to we're gonna run a quick test first before we actually launch everything so. next week. um and um uh, and so i do have some interesting stuff stuff coming up with dc there's some other uh interesting things interesting things that i, I have working on i can't really say who we're, or we're what reading, but so. it's um Huh? I said we're gonna start reading, so close it. Close it so up. it won't be. Um, 
I, I, I almost say, but when it's there's some interesting stuff coming up, and I'll let you, I'll let everyone know. Um, um, what else is there to say? I think that's it. Yep, that's it. I guess that's it. So. Thanks for joining the stream, guys. All right, I'll see you guys. Go raid. Raid, 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 raid. I'll see you guys later. Peace.